y'all. I don't know if y'all heard that, but it's one of those days again. I don't know what's going on with Brody. Can't figure it out. But happy Tuesday, y'all. What is up? This is my second day of summer, even though I have to go to work tomorrow. And I have to report to work on Friday. Not Friday, Thursday. So, but hey, y'all. Happy Tuesday. And I'm sorry that I'm late, but... Y'all, y'all, it's been one of those, it's been one of those days or weeks, but hey, everybody, what are you guys up to tonight? Who do I have, I probably have like thread all over me. I keep having a thread break and I just don't know why. I don't know why, but hey, y'all, hey, Mayor Bear, happy Tuesday. And I'm sorry, I'm late, y'all. I just had, oh. Sorry, I'm late. Hey, Dems. Hey, Rosalind. Hey, Angel. I love those Father's Day gift ideas. But y'all, what y'all up to today? Hey, T Create. Hey, Tammy. So, t hey, Nicole. Nicole, so thank you. Thank you for my Mother's Day gift. I know we're already at Father's Day, but thank you for my Mother's Day card. I really, really appreciate it. And, you know. That's how hotless people got to stick together. So thank you. Hey, Bonita. Uh-oh. Y'all, I swear, it just took me all the way down. All the way down. So I'm sorry. Hey, Marsha. Hey, Theodore. Hey, Fabulosis. So y'all, tonight we are going to be subbing some tumblers. Some tumblers for Father's Day. We're going to sub a mug. And we are going to be using this new heat press that I got from Real Can. It's so tiny and cute. And it's that turquoise color that I love. So I'm excited about doing that with y'all. And y'all, so today was my first day using it. And I actually have a video. Um, it'll probably upload tomorrow. But I messed up two of these tumblers playing around with this thing. So tonight, tonight is the night. Like, I'm going to do this with y'all. I can't rest until I make a tumbler that looks decent inside of this mug press. So we are going to be doing that together. And then we are going to sub onto this Michael's mug. And this is a Make Market mug from Michael's. And y'all, I just want y'all to know that, I think I'm going to turn off that heat press because I was going to finish that one day. I don't know if you guys... Whoever was here with me on Saturday, remember I was doing that, uh, those shirts for my family? Well, I think I'm just going to, y'all know what? I'm just going to sub it. I'm not even going to worry about doing the embroidery um, for the baby because I keep, I don't know, it's probably the design that's a hot mess. But so that you guys know, if you get these mugs from Michaels, and Michaels has, they have the like instructions as far as what you should, let me put on my other camera with y'all. Hey, Mugs My Keys, hey, Regina. If I miss you, hey, Natalie, if I missed you, I am so sorry. Um, I'm so sorry because, um, yeah, it went all the way down, so I'm sorry. And I'm already late in a hot mess. Y'all know how I am with everything. So let me see. So I think I'm going to print that out with y'all too. Let me try to turn this down because it's always making too much noise. But hey, y'all. So happy to be here with y'all. Y'all, I swear, when I work, when I'm at work at the school, I think I'm at peace because I have not had any rest since summer began on friday at all so i don't know what that's i don't know what this summer is going to look like so i think i'm looking forward to summer school i think i'm looking forward to it oh it's 95 now it's a cool well y'all is hot here it is really hot here like disgustingly hot <laughs> I was sorry, y'all. I always forget. 
Always. All right, let me know if you hear an echo. Hopefully you won't hear an echo. Hey, Mika. Hey, Sandra. Hey, Mrs. JD. Hey, friend on Facebook. I can't see your name. If I missed you, y'all, I'm sorry. Hey, Danny. Hey, Nicole. Hey, Barbara and Pond. All right, y'all, so we are going to be playing around with this new um, mug press that I have. So as you know, Real Can't, or some of you, like, as y'all know, y'all probably don't, Real Can't sent me um, a tumbler press a few weeks ago, and then they also sent me this little mini mug press. And so I'm going to show y'all how this works, and it's so tiny. Look how tiny that is, y'all. It's so tiny. But I'm trying to get a good view. And then I also have a collection of them um, oven waiting so that we can sub onto this. But y'all, we have to get designs and everything because I don't have any designs right now. Why is this doing this? I'm sorry, y'all. But it's like it keeps on its bird nesting, and I don't know why. Now I figured out when we get out of the live, so I'm probably not gonna. Well, let me not say that. I don't know. I always say that I'm not gonna stay on long, but then I do stay on long. I'm sorry, y'all. Give me one second. I'm just gonna get Brody together really quick. And I'll show. I don't know why this is happening to me right now, but it is. Okay. All right, y'all. So this is what I'm dealing with. This is why my mind is elsewhere. So for those of you who was here on Saturday. This is all I've gotten done so far on this. And I was like, well, you know what? I'll go ahead and do this now and then we'll do, we'll press it together. But I don't know why, like I had two areas where it bird nested. So I don't know why. So I'm gonna put this to the side for a minute and then we are going to talk about this stuff. So like I was saying about these Michaels mugs, y'all and i gotta get some images from creative fabric or design bundles hey robin hey everybody just coming in hey comfredo uh oh it's an echo sorry y'all you still hear the echo sorry oh tam you still break it um it's like no break it's no break all right so i just want you guys to see this so these are the make market um mugs from michael's and so inside they have you know what to preheat and what to press for y'all they are telling people to press this for 40 seconds this these are the instructions on the michael's and i never even paid it any attention but they are telling people to press these for 40 seconds i don't know any mug press or heat press that can sub this for only 40 seconds at 365 degrees let me make sure that's it up. Yeah. It says for best results, preheat heat press to 365 degrees. I don't know if y'all can see that good. And press for 40 seconds. So if you get these, please do not follow the Michaels um, instructions because I see what it is. Is it still an echo, y'all? It was an echo, it had to be an echo. But if you get these, do not follow the instructions on these Michaels mugs and they're on every single mug, all right? So hopefully you guys could pass that message to everybody. Maybe you guys already knew, maybe I'm late to the party because I never read any instructions. But y'all, this is the Real Cant mug press. Um, I do have a link listed below for you guys if you are interested in it. But it's so cute and tiny. So this is supposed to be for 
15 or up to 15 ounce mugs. So you can do the 15 ounce tumblers and you can also do um, mugs, 15 ounce mugs, the sippy cups work. And I put a mason jar in here earlier, but I'm not, I didn't press it. So I'm not sure if it will close. So I'm gonna give you guys like a nice little tour of it. So it only has one, um, it only has one heating element or heating plate. And uh oh, am I frozen? Did somebody call me? Probably did. All right, I'm back again. All right, so it only has one heating element. And then to open it, we kind of like push it in and then this little latch. But this also holds it in place while you're subbing. Isn't that so cute? All right, so it goes like that. And then you have to just like um, test out your pressure. So before we turn this on, I need to get my images that we're gonna use. And then we are just going to press this like this. And then once we close it, I'll be able to tell See, right now, this is not enough. Um, like, this isn't good. So for this one now, I need to turn. There's a pressure knob over here on the side. And so I got to kind of, like, keep turning it and turn. Uh oh I'm turning it the wrong way. So we're turning it because it's supposed to close all the way. Hey, Tina. Hey, Karen. Uh-oh. Am I turning it the right way, y'all? Nope. It's going to go this way. <laughs> I have not been getting notifications on YouTube either. YouTube is doing something really weird. All right. So it's all good. I'm glad you guys are here with me. All right. So I am loosening it up a bit because the last thing I pressed in it was this uh, tumbler. We're going to try to get it right tonight, y'all. We're going to try. But right now, you just got to keep closing it. And so when we do this one, we're going to have to do the same thing. That beer stein we're going to put inside of our convection oven. Hey, Tara. Happy Tuesday. All right, y'all. So that's what I'm, this is what I'm turning. But it's super, super easy to handle. Look at, like, yo, look, like my whole hand pretty much can hide it. Not really hide it. Hey, Josie. Hey, Candace. So you want to make sure you have it tight enough. And that latch just needs to lock into place. Because see that there's, so right now the latch, latch isn't locked into place. So when we get ready to press, it's not going to close. And so you want it to close. All right, so there you go. It's all done. It's all ready. So I can feel good. I'm gonna undo that. We're gonna look for some images for both our mug and also it's stuffing up my table, but it's fine. Hold on. I'm going to share my screen in a minute. Well, welcome, Josie, from East Texas. I'm Patrice from South Florida. All right, let me share my screen. We are going to be looking at Creative Fabrica. And for those of you who don't know, Creative Fabrica has their... Uh, one dollar deal for the first month and then each additional month is 19 bucks all right let's see what we're going to use and then i am just going to download so we need three things y'all we need something for this beer stein we need something for this mug and something for this tumbler all right so of course i had already looked at father's day but then brody's father's day images but then brody started acting a whole hot mess and so i had to abandon 
looking at Father's Day things. So I'm going to make a Father's Day tumbler and also a Father's Day mug. And I am just going to get the design right from here, um, right from Creative Fabrica. Well, either Creative Fabrica or Design Bundles. We don't know yet. Um, mm -mm -mm. Let's see, I don't know. One thing I have to say is, and is that Creative Fabrica has to do like a better job with like the searches. Because sometimes I can like get lost in in it. Oh, that's a cute photo um, tumbler, but that's not going to be for me. I'm looking for something quick and easy and simple that we could use, and we're going to print it out and wrap it. Well, first we need to measure. Um, measure it let's see let's see let's see this best dad ever my dad was in the air force i think i'm gonna give it to him he might like that uh, y'all this is just too much all right let's go over to design bundle oh i had some mug wraps look i was looking at mug wraps the thing is, is that with design, with Creative Fabrica, it's all included in my um, in my All Access membership. So, they have some cute, they have cute things too. There's just so much to look through, y'all. Can you imagine I was home all day and didn't have time to look through files and files and files on Creative Fabrica? <sighs> Well, I didn't really stay home all day. I had to take Taylor. Taylor already started. Um, let me see. Father, say Tumblr. She already started summer school because she has to do um, PE. And so I don't like any of those, y'all. Let me go to the home page and see what they what they're talking about. Once I print it out, it's going to be quick, but I do think I'm just going to go ahead and get this, that, that, this one here. It's right there at the top, so that means that it wants me to get it. And I don't think any of that really colorful stuff is going to be good. All right, so we're going to get one of these. Let's see. I don't like that either. <laughs> I don't like it either. Hey, Tampa. Hey, Deborah. Yeah, I don't like it. Y'all know I'd be indecisive all the time. So I don't necessarily have to have a full, a full wrap. But I do want to show y'all a full wrap. So let's see. Oh, look, y'all. I could get these gnomes. Oh, <gasps> y'all. How do y'all... Well, no, this gray isn't going to look good on this. Um. All right, so let's see if I put these gnomes on the beer stein, right? How do y'all think this gray is going to look on this, on that green, on the beer stein? The green is going to just show through because of all of that white inside of it. And then the bubbles is going to be white. But... I like that. Let me see. Let me see if I can find Gnome Father's Day in Creative Africa. Let's see. So, I really do not want to do a whole design today. Because ain't nobody got time for that. Definitely don't have time for it. Yeah, I don't see nothing I like, y'all. This is why you need to look at the designs before. Mm, nope. No, I can't see the chat. If you say anything, I can't really see the chat. Uh, 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 uh. Let's see. Let's do dad, dad tumblers. That may work out better. All right. 
Let's see. Maybe not that one. Oh, maybe I'll do the dope black dad. Hmm. Not really. <laughs> I like that one. That's cute. Yep. Y'all, yep, yep, yep. Oh, let me see this one. I'm fishing that. My dad does like to fish. Okay. We're going to get this one. Download. And let me get ready to print it out. All right, let me, I'm going to switch out of here. Maybe move that. Hey, Kirsten, girl, Brody's still acting a hot mess. I don't know why Brody is still acting a hot mess. I'm so over Brody. Nicole, you know I love me some gnomes, girl. Don't act like that. You know I love gnomes. All right, let me see if I could, I'm going to print this one out. And then we're, but we're not going to do the, the, Tumblr first. We're going to do um I want to do the mug first since I already set it for the mug and then we're going to find something for the beer signs and then we're going to be pretty much done because I need to figure out what is going on with Brody again. That's a hot mess. All right, let's see. Fishing dad. PNG. All right, let's see. All right, let me switch over. I think I'm gonna show you guys Adobe Illustrator. Let's see. Since we're in this together, we might as well do it all the way, all right? All right, let me switch over. Move. Stop screen share, share. So we're gonna go into Adobe Illustrator so I can print this out. Person, <laughs> when I tell you I can't, I cannot. All right, y'all. So first what we're gonna do is we need to measure this tumbler, all right? I did clean them off, but I've been touching them. They ain't probably that clean right now. But we need to measure it, and so I'm going to use this measuring tape to measure. And so I'm going to measure around. Typically, these this tumbler, I think, the box I got it from, they're usually like nine and a quarter around. And so, uh-oh. Move it now. So typically, they're nine and a quarter around, and so... What I usually do, just to give it a little extra, is I usually do like 9.3. Hey, Umberto, welcome, hola. So that's gonna be nine and a quarter by, I'm measuring in inches. So that's gonna be nine and a quarter by, so right here, it's like right there at the eight, eight point. I'm gonna go with, 8.125. So if you see the video that I did, it, it's not up yet. I kind of did, I think I did eight and a quarter, but I'm going to go with 8.125. I'm going to do it almost exact because I think that was part of my problem. All right. So that's what we're going to go with. So let me head back over at the stream again. And so all I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to properties. You guys probably can't see this part, but I'm going to turn this into landscape. And now I'm going to draw my square. And the square is going to be 9.3 by 8.125. 8.125, yes. Okay. So this is just the square template that I'm using because this is a straight tumbler, it's not tapered, this is gonna be perfectly fine, all right? So then I'm going to select draw inside, 
and I think I already copied it. I'm not sure. Let me see. So here you can either do place or you can copy inside. I am just going to paste it in because I already copied it. And so, of course, it came in super huge. And so all I'm doing is minimizing the screen size so I can see just how big the image is within that box because this is similar to doing a clipping mask, but well, this is not intended to be a, a design video if, uh, live. It really isn't. I just don't have my stuff together. All right, so my snap grids are on, so it usually snaps right into place. And so I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger. And right now it is still, So I'm gonna make it just a little bit smaller. All right, so, all right, so that fit perfectly inside of our template. And so, and I didn't do anything, the proportion stayed the same. All I did was um, actually held the shift key down just so that it didn't go longer or wider or anything like that. All right, so now we are just going to go ahead and I don't really have to remove that border around it, but I am going to just because typically that's what I do. So remove it, especially if it, it was a different color. All right, so now I'm gonna get ready to print and y'all probably can't see my print screen from here, can you? Nope, I'm sure you can't. So let me remove that. And then I'm going to stop screen share and then share your screen entire screen. Hey, Alicia. All right. And so now we are going to go back into Adobe Illustrator. I am going to click print. And today, I hope I have paper in there. I did not check. We are going to be using the Epson EcoTank uh, 2750 today. And I'm just going to go to setup, make sure my settings look decent. And right now we're on plain paper, bright white, print is quality. We have the image mirrored, color options, Adobe RGB 2.2, that's perfect. All right, so we are going to click print. And hopefully it's fine. All right, so let me head back to y'all. I think we remove that. And we are going to, we have this. Hopefully near here. Now this is actually a 20 ounce tumbler. So we are going to be trying a 20 ounce tumbler inside of this um, mug press um, because I've already tried to. And I'm gonna show you guys how the, those came out. Actually there's a video coming out so you guys will be able to see it. But the bottom of this tumbler, um, it's a little weird. It's it's straight all the way down except there. Like it kind of hooks out just a little bit. So I think that kind of causes some of my issues. Hey Latoya, girl, crafting too many things. That's what I'm gonna make another shirt that says crafting too many things. That's what it needs to say. All right, so the same thing would go for the top, for the mug. Like we just need to measure around and the height. And so we can do this. I think we can give this about, I would do about eight and a half inches wide. Miss Merlinda, hey, Miss Merlinda. And then this is gonna be three and three quarters. So eight and a half by three and three quarters. I don't know the design that I'm gonna be using, but let me just get something real quick, y'all, because I can't. I really can't. Like really, 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 really can't. Just really over looking at designs and just figuring things out like I'm over it today. It's been one of those days, but it's all good. We are here together and I am happy that you all took time to hang with me tonight. 
on this Tuesday. All right, so, all right, I think we're going to do something very simple, but I should have picked another color. Um, I should have picked another color for this mug. We're not going to do for the beer sign. We're just going to put something on the front. We're not going to even do anything major, but we are going to do this inside of the convection oven. And if we have time, y'all, tonight, we might do, do y'all want to engrave on this flask? I'm making all types of drinkware tonight. I know. I, you would think, yeah, that will be exhausted, all the complaining I just did, but I didn't. All right, so, all right, so let me show you guys what we're going to be using now. So for the beer stein, let me show you what we're going to use because we're just going to go ahead and print out the beer stein. And if you want to do the flask, if y'all want to engrave a flask tonight, let me know. Yes or no. It ain't like I got to really have to be at a job in the morning. I got to go in, but not like early. So... <laughs> Oh, editing the videos, that's the worst part. Shooting the videos, that's the easy part. Editing is what will make you be like, oh, no, this is a wrap. <laughs> this, is, this is a wrap. All right, y'all, so let me finish. All right, let me download. And then I still need to get a mug. So let me see something. Oh, there is a... Look. All right, I want a full wrap though. I don't want something plain. I want something nice and vibrant and colorful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh. How about we just gonna do the super dad one? <laughs> that's gonna be that's gonna be it. All right, y'all. So we are we are we're here. We might even get this done quicker. Hold on a second, y'all. Because there's so many different ones that they have here. So I'm going to do the gallery. And then that way we can kind of see. I don't want a photo in there. Hi, 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 y'all. I don't want that one now. I don't want a photo. Don't want a photo. All right, hold on, y'all. I did have a picture on here. Uh -oh. Let's see, let's see. Now we gotta look for something else. Because I did not like it. Well, we may end up doing that anyway. Y'all gonna have to be, y'all gonna have to bear with me while I find a picture of me and my daddy. Let me see. We're making mugs. Hey, the Unleashed Crafter. So yes, so we need to engrave something. Hey, Theodore. Okay, perfect. We'll do that. The name of the font. Which which font, Latoya? Of this font? This font is it's called Duncan. It's called Duncan. Where did I get it from? Did I get it from Defont, y'all? I don't even remember where I got it from. I don't even remember. All right, let's see if I can find a quick photo. And then we're going to go ahead and use what we got. That's what we're going to use. And one of my favorite photos of me and my dad came up the other day. Well, actually came up today. Let's see if I can find it. And then I will use that one because that's going to be, uh-oh. Okay, there it is. Copy, copy image. Uh-oh. Hold on, y'all. Let me go back here. All right, so we're going to go into... Adobe Illustrator. 
Let me remove stop screen share. Hey, Facebook user. Sorry, I cannot see your name. It's, it is worth it, but it is, oh. All right, let's see. So we're gonna go back into Adobe Illustrator. And so we've already, we have our image printed out and it looks really good. Now I'm gonna have to look at those other, what paper is this? Okay, this is a sub paper. All right, so we have it printed out. Let me um, exit that. And then now we are going to do that mug. And the mug is, uh, what did I say that mug was, Joel? I think eight and eight and a half by three and three quarters. All right, so here we are. And then I'm just gonna make the stroke black. I'm gonna remove, it doesn't really matter if the white is there or not, but I took it out. All right, so let me get our design that we just downloaded. Where is it at? Okay, super dead. All right, copy. All right, so I may not even need a template because this is what we have, y'all. This is the template. Okay, there it is. So this is what we're going to do. And so you probably don't need that. All I have to do is resize this to an eight and a half by, what did I say again, y'all? Three and three quarters. Uh oh three and three quarters and then so I don't really need this anymore and then the photo that we're going to be using is just going to go right here oh no I don't do I have a right shape of photo let me see y'all I'm not trying to be stressed stressing y'all out tonight I really am not Uh-oh, where's the photo? Where are you at? Oh, there it is. I can save it on there. All right, so let me put the photo. This is one of my favorite photos of me and my daddy. And let's make it a little smaller. And then all we're gonna do so that we can fit it inside of the that little square, we're going to send it to the back. Because this is not, see if the square, if this part right here was something that I could like click into and draw inside, then that would be perfect. But it's not. So I'm gonna have to, let me make it a little bit smaller. And then I am going to tilt it to kind of mimic how the image is. And then let's see if we send that to the back. So right now I'm just clicking on arrange and then I'm gonna click send to back. And then now I just want to kind of move this up just a little bit. And for those of you who may not know, I am working inside of Adobe Illustrator. All right, y'all. I think I like it. What y'all think? Let me come back to y'all. Uh oh, I was not even sharing anything, huh, y'all? Let me show y'all because now y'all, I'm asking y'all what y'all think, and y'all can't think nothing because y'all can't see nothing. So this is what I just did while you guys were waiting in the lobby of share your screen. <laughs> so that's what we have. So I pulled that picture and i put it like i sent it to the back let me show y'all because y'all can't y'all did not see that that sucks all right y'all so when this came over this was huge when this file came over this was huge it was like 
extra big. Y'all know how stuff comes over when you download it from wherever. Well, I resized it to eight and a half by 3.75, right? And so here's what we have. So the photo, I have this photo and all I did was this photo, it was in the front. Let me arrange and bring it to the front again to show y'all comments so y'all can have an idea. So this area right here, it's transparent. Y'all see that? Let me make it a little bit bigger. So it's transparent so that you can just place your photo behind it. Um, sometimes the, it can be like an extra box there where you could actually put it inside of the image of, of the, the design, but this works perfectly. Almost like some how you do some of the mock-ups. And so all I did was this came in huge too. I resized it and I resized it so that it could fit within that box. And then I kind of tilted it a little bit because the box looks a little tilted, right? And then I sent it to the back. And I think I want to tilt it just a little bit more. Oh, that's going to be fine. And then I sent it to the back. Sent it back. And there we have it. So if I want to, like, do anything else to this again, I, I would have to move it because the image is right there in front. But I love how this looks. Let me go back to y'all. What y'all think? It's a hot mess or what? Once I finally got it to show, I mean, y'all, like y'all, it's been a day right before I get on. Brody starts, Brody was stitching just beautifully. Hey, Heather. Hey, Unbiased. Hey, Mary Warzak. Hey, Latasha. Okay, perfect, y'all. I think it's okay. Hey, Martha and Danny. Thank you. Marsha, can I switch screens? Which screen, Martha? Which screen, Marsha? I'm sorry. All right, so was it when I was a hot mess and I didn't have the right screen up? That's probably it, girl, because I'm a hot mess. All right, so here we go. So this is one. And so now we need to print out the print this out. But I want to use that beer stein one that I got. And it's a very basic design. We are going to put this onto this green um, beer stein. That's what we're going to do. I'm sticking with that. So let me find it and then once we do this this should give us enough time to do the flask i'm gonna download that one and it's a very basic dad man the myth the legend type of file copy all right and so here we are just gonna paste it of course these come in ready to take over all right, so I'm just minimizing the screen so that I can do that. All right. All right, so let me maximize this again or make it a little bit larger. And now I did not measure the bear stein. And so I'm going to keep the green one. Give it a makes it very colorful. And so I just want to measure to see like how much space like where do I really want this to be? So I think I can go with at least, I mean, for it to be perfectly centered, it would need to be like a three by three. It could be longer, a little longer, but the problem is, is that it's a circle. And so, you know, that's going to be even. It just has like a little watermark behind it. So, but do I want to make it even larger than that? Maybe we'll do a three and a half. What y'all think? Let's see. So if I do like a three and a half, 3.5, and then we're going to do 3.5. Let's see how that's going to look. All right. I think that's going to be good. I may duplicate this because I could always put it on something else too. Um, or make another one as a gift or so. All right, so let's go ahead and print this out and then we're gonna have all three of our prints. And then we may actually have time to play with this, this um mask, not mask, this flask. 
Discord is set up. Make sure the print settings are what I want it to be, and they are, or at least it looks like it. I think next week, y'all, we may do, we may still do some sublimation next week, but we might just kind of look at the different printers. Um, just to see the quality and if there's any major difference among them. Like what, what are the differences? All right. So now we're gonna have to prepare for this. Let me stop sharing the screen. Remove. All right, we're back. All right, so I have the heat tape here. And because we're using this mug press, we're not gonna use any um, any shrink wrap. But inside of the convection oven, um, I don't really like using the shrink wrap on these glasses. So we're not gonna use it on these glasses. Y'all, the printer is not open. It's blinking, let me make sure. Maybe it's out of paper. Okay, out of paper. I was about to say, I told you I didn't know if it was paper in there in the beginning, but <laughs> there was no paper in there. Look at my poor little guess. All right, let me put some paper in here, and we are using a sub sublimation paper, or we were using a sub sublimation paper, but I might have taken, no, I got some. I did take some to the school with me. And if you guys don't follow my other, well, I have two other channels now, but if you don't follow our podcast channel, check us out because we are doing like some craft stuff with the kids for the next school year. And we're actually going to be like redoing the room. It's not even my class, but it's my class. Don't tell me no, I just gotta redo this, put this paper on here. All right. Okay. All right. So we have paper now, we have paper. All right, so let me get ready to cut this out. This is gonna be for the tumbler. And hopefully we'll be able to have some success inside of this mug press because I didn't have any. I had good, like a good printout. Let me show y'all. Y'all will see it in the video because the video will be up tomorrow. But it like the mug came out beautifully that I did in there. It was the tumbler, the 20 ounce tumbler that didn't come out so great. So the notifications are being really strange lately i don't know what's going on with them thanks Dempsey Boo. so we actually did what i did i actually used the real camp the other the full size press that goes up to 30 ounces on the other channel the other day because I took it to school with me because I plan on us using it. Yo, did I do this 9.25 or 9.3? Do y'all remember what I did this one? Hey, Marcel. Marcel, I was actually working on your, um, on a shirt for you. I may have to do this over because I don't think I did this. I think I did 9.25. So, and, and I, don't remember telling y'all why I usually put a little bit more. So I'm going to print this out again. I'm going to wrap it and see how, how it looks. But I think I may have to print it out again. And it's okay. No worries. Let's see. Uh-oh, Mary, I did not see what you... Hey, Sharon. Hold on. Let me scroll back up. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Levi. Hey, Just Paper Crafting. Hey, Kim. <laughs> hey, Sean. How y'all doing tonight? Thank you for dropping in on me. We just playing with this heat press or this mug 
Christ. I need to plug it up in a minute. But I do want to see how, how this is going to wrap. Hey, Edna. Because I may need to do... Uh -oh. So, y'all, sometimes even you're, like, you may wonder, like, where things come. So, just like these, I have, like, a little speck of something here. That will cause, like, the ink to not get onto your mug or your tumbler, whatever it is that you're doing. Let me make sure y'all know I'm good for putting something upside down. Ain't perfect. Uh-oh. Check my messages on Facebook. I'll check them. <laughs> I'll check them, Mary. Listen. YouTube has been doing a whole a whole situation lately. I don't know what's going on with YouTube, but I'm just glad y'all are here with me. All right, it's not bad. I'm not going to redo it. I'm just going to have to, like, really, really take this down really, really good. So, and I think I'm going to take, since I'm on here with y'all, I'm going to tape the bottom. But I want you guys to see, like, the video. I'm not going to upload it until tomorrow it's already edited and everything but i um i want y'all to see it and then y'all can maybe give me some suggestions because honestly y'all i never do 20 ounce tumblers in a mug but like i usually just do it in my convection oven and i have a sublimation oven that maybe one night will work with that but for the most part, I usually just use my convection oven. And I do like my heat press uh, Nation 7-in-1 tumbler press. That that works really, really good, too. Oh, it's a fly in here. With a fly mosquito. All right. So this did not flush all the way down how I want it. And I really want it to flush all the way down. And let me take that off, too. All right. Our mug design has printed. So we are going to get that together. And also for this glass, the glass needs to bake for about 14 minutes. So I'm going to tell you all what I like about this mug press and what I don't like about it. Uh, you know, I'm not even going to worry about it. I'm going to leave it in on. I can't. Hey, Avester. So far, so good. So far, I actually like it. And so now, y'all, I'm just like kind of like holding it tight, which is kind of difficult for me sometimes to like really be able to get a nice grip on it. But for the most part, this is how I start my tumblers. And then, but you want to make sure it's going in the same direction. So you want to make sure that it's overlapping the same way. Like you don't want this part to end up going underneath when this part starts out being underneath. So that's all I'm making sure right now. Okay, Creative Kim. So I have a um, Hamilton Beach Rotisserie XL convection oven and I absolutely love it. I, have, I still use it for most of my things, and I have the J Chance sublimation oven. I have a Heat Press Nation 7 in 1 convection oven. I have the Cricut Mug Press. I have the um, Wild Cut Mug Press. All of those work really, really good, but I just like my convection oven. And it could be I started out with it, so that's what I want. All right, then we're gonna get the mug. I'm gonna put this to the side because I'm tempted to just throw this into the convection oven, but we're not. I want to see what suggestions you guys may have, and I'm taping the whole scene and just kind of like applying some pressure to it because you don't want any air to get underneath there. Hey, Jackie. You don't want any air to get underneath your your design or underneath your image because that's what causes the ghosting. So you don't 
I kind of want to make sure that's nice and taped down. Oh, that too, Mary. You can find a good deal on Facebook Marketplace. All right, so I'm going to put this aside, y'all. So in the other ones that I've done, the bottom ghosted really bad, and then the top ghosted really bad. Everything else was okay, but the top and the bottom ghosted really bad. Now, I don't typically take down the bottoms all the time. Like when I'm alone, y'all, I don't take down bottoms. When I do it on videos, I take them down. So maybe I should. I don't know. We'll see. All right. So here is our mug press. Or our, our mug press. Duh. Here is our, our mug designs. This is for the beer stein and this is for the coffee mug. So I'm just going to cut these out. But in the meantime, I'm going to turn on our, um, what's this called, y'all? Our mug press. Look how tiny and cute that is, y'all. It's so tiny and cute. All right, so I'm going to plug this in. And it's very basic. Like, it's very, very simple. Like, you can actually, like, take this someplace with you. So where's my heat gloves? All right, so it has, like, this little latch. And we already checked for the pressure of the mug. That's why we're going to start with the mug. And then we'll, oh, I should have had another um, tumbler to check the pressure for that. But we're going to check this out. And let me give y'all like a little up close and personal situation. So there's only two buttons on here. The on button controls the temperature. And there's only three temperatures that you could use. You can use 160 degrees Celsius, 180 degrees Celsius, or 200 degrees Celsius. And there's only two times that you can have, 300 seconds or 200 seconds. Now, what's a little sketch is that like when we're doing the tumbler, you're going to see like with the tumbler, what they suggest is that you count the, um, the seconds. I ain't got time for that. I don't know about you guys, but I can't count that and then go and do something else. So when you put something in a tumbler press, it's ideal to put it in the press. If it's going to be for two minutes, I'm usually staying in the room, but I'm also doing something else. Maybe weeding, maybe trying to fix Brody. I don't know. It could be something else. So that's, you do want to note that, but you can easily pick this up by the handles. Super, 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 super convenient. All right, so I'm just going to press on, and we're going to go to 200 degrees Celsius for the ceramic mug. So now it's warming up. Once that light stops beep, blinking, <laughs> it's ready for us to place the mug inside. All right, so now we are just going to go ahead and cut out our next designs. And again, if you just got here, I printed this out on my Epson Eagle Tank 2750. And um, I'm using a sub sublimation paper along with my ink, dynamic ink. Now, tell me if you guys want me to do like some tests. So I have a few, I have three sublimation printers. And um, I have the Sawgrass, I have the Epson 2750, and another a 15,000 for sublimation. Is that something you guys would be interested in? Like just uh, doing some sublimation test items and seeing how how it works, how it looks in different print settings. That's something you're interested in, let me know. And so we should have time, especially since we've already done this part, we should have time today to Go ahead and engrave onto the um the mask. The mask. Why don't you call them the flask? The mask. Theodore said yes. Okay, perfect. We'll do something like that. Talk about print settings and the different printers, the difference between the sawgrass and the Epsons. I think the, the, the I love the 2750 
Okay, if you if you guys are just getting here, do not follow the instructions on these Michaels. Oh my goodness, I hate this part. I'm not even taking off. Do not follow the instructions on these Michaels mugs. I've had these since they got on the scene, but y'all, they have wrong information on here. It's almost like those um, Joann's tumblers that tell you that you could. Okay, let me make sure I'm putting this on the right side. It's almost like those Joann's tumblers that tell you you can sub those black tumblers. Michaels is telling people to sub these ceramic mugs at 365 degrees for 40 seconds. Even inside of my convection oven, I have to leave these in for about 12 to 14 minutes. The same amount of time I use um, for the beer steins and the glass, sublimation glass products. The Malaysia the Sagres, yes, fabulous. I do love my Sagres. And shout out to Heat Transfer Warehouse who sent me some new, some more Caesar ink or Sagres ink. Oh. All right, so it's ready. You'll see that light is solid now. So I need to put it to use, even though I had just bought some. I mean, same, but it was so cute. They sent me some sawgrass ink with some blow pops. And I love a good blow pop. All right, so I'm just taping this down. I'm not taping where they, this, I'm not taping the edges. I'm not taping, um, I'm just taping the edge and I'm not taping the rim. That's what I meant to say. Now, do I suggest taping the rim. I do suggest taping the rim, especially when you're sewing. I just find it just takes up so much time to have to keep taping it down, but that's what gives you a quality product. Include production costs associated with each. Sure. Sure can. All right. So we're gonna get ready to press this. Let me, and so I'll show you guys when we get ready to do that. Let me get uh, some butcher paper. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna get a little bit of butcher paper because earlier when I did it, um, so the sawgrass, not sawgrass, the ASOC sublimation paper has been doing pretty decent lately, especially like for, clothing and things like that. I haven't been having much bleeding, but with these mugs, it's been a lot of bleeding. And so I don't know if it's because I'm pressing it too long. And until I get to know this mug press a little bit better, I I won't, you know, I won't know if that's the case. And the problem is, is that I have other mug presses that I use more or I have my convection oven that I use more so I don't really worry about it but we are going to I'm just gonna put this here just to protect our our heating element because you don't want that on there Delanda hey boo happy summer Delanda are you not like me and you're taking summer off and you didn't decide to teach summer school or anything. I hope that's the case, Delanda. I hope you're not working summer school. Even though I think I need to work summer school. Like at first I did, I was like, why did you do that? But I think so. I think that's my, my platform is my happy place, but as of late, it's not always happy. So, School is definitely my happy place. But I'm just gonna take this um, butcher paper here so that it doesn't come up. Girl, oh my goodness, Delanda. I should have called you because girl, listen, I had told I told them that I wasn't gonna do summer school. I said it, I was like, nope, I'm not doing, they asked me, I'm not doing summer school. I haven't done summer school in years either. And then they called me about summer school. And I was like, okay, but I first said no, okay. 
All right, y'all. So let me put on a heat glove so I can look like I'm responsible. Because I don't always be responsible. Is that your phone? Uh, geezers, no. Yeah, this is my phone. This is my phone. You can do the same thing with an iPad. You can do it with another uh, computer. Right now, my setup, if you guys care, I actually have, I'm not using my computer uh, camera. I'm actually using my Canon um, right now, but it is connected to the computer because I think there's another way to do it, but yeah. All right, so to open this, thank you, Christelle. To open this, all you do is lift it up and voila. All right, so we are going to slide our mug into the heating element. Y'all, did I put this on the right side? Is this upside down? No, oh, if this upside down, it's still going to my daddy. All right, so we are going to get ready to close this inside. And what I realized is, is that there is a little bit of space. So this is about, I think, four and a half uh, inches, the heating element. So you want to take that into consideration. All right. So once you have that inside, now we're going to click the time button. And one press on the time button takes you to 200 seconds. If I were to press this again, it would take me to 300 seconds. Now, each blink is considered a second all right each blink is considered a second but when you're doing like items like this tumbler that we're planning on doing the problem is is that you have to do multiple presses so you have to press one side for like 130 seconds the next side 90 seconds and then the next two 30 second presses that's where it becomes you know have a headache to where I just prefer to do it in my my oven like why go through all of that those seconds start to add up and it's like you might as well just put that in your oven and walked away and you didn't have to worry about all that turning twisting and turning and watching and mm -mm. I can't I can't I can't Oh, and geezers, if you do, if you want, and I'm in StreamYard too. I'm not live on YouTube. I'm live on StreamYard. So we're going to go ahead and put this onto our beer stein. Y'all think I should put one on one side and another on the other side instead of doing two separate ones? Let me know what y'all think. Should I do, have it two-sided? What y'all think? I'm thinking that's that's what I'm going to do. Have one in the front and one in the back. But I need to take off this glove. Hey, Dr. Cunningham. Thank you, Theodore. All right, so I'm just taping this one on. And this one is actually going to go into that convection oven because I just don't see... And a lot of times with some of these presses, with this one, it may be fine, y'all. It may be fine for the glass to go inside of this one. Inside of your Cricut mug presses, no, don't put any glass in there. Inside of the Walla mug press that looks similar to the Cricut, don't put it in there. But this one might be fine. Um, once I find out if it's okay, I'll go ahead and probably like update, do an update video showing using some glass sublimation products with it. But right here, I'm gonna go ahead and tape this all the way down. Thanks for starting to have it, Jesse, and um, Bias, and Kathleen, and all y'all. Thank y'all. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tape this down. I'm not gonna use any shrink wrap. Like I told y'all before, for this, I'm not gonna use any shrink wrap on this glass and also, I wouldn't recommend using any painter's tape or anything on here either. I'm just going to try to tape this down as good as possible with the heat tape. And I know I just have this part taped now, but I want to make sure all of this is taped down because I don't want any air to be able to get underneath there. Okay. 
So it's all done. And so we are going to see what this looks like. All right, so to open it, all you do is push it in a little and then you lift that, that latch up. All right, and so we're gonna take this out. Uh-oh, I didn't get my silicone mat, y'all. Hold on, let me get it. Let me, let me, I'm gonna turn this off for now. I just saw it doesn't take long to heat up. But I do need to check the pressure of that um that tumbler, the 20 ounce tumbler. And I'll move this out of the way for a minute. Uh oh. Come on. That butcher paper was ready to get off. My like, girl. It was hot in here. All right, so y'all look, look at all that ink on this paper. So that tells me, you know what? The 200 seconds that they recommend, I could probably reduce it a little bit because you can see that ink through there really, really well. All right, so it's not too, no, I'm sorry, I touched the thing. This is what I do. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and remove the heat tape and then we'll finish taping that mug and then we'll put it into our convection oven all right so these heat gloves work all right i can feel a little bit of this heat though in this from the um mug all right let's see i not want it to come off i did not want to stay there so the mug press is it's a real camp mug press um they have it on amazon i do have a link below in the description if you are interested dr cunningham i am definitely going to check them out so okay my picture probably isn't the best quality picture though this looks amazing this part looks amazing my picture it just looks too dark, but it was also the quality of the picture. I probably should have did it at a 1.8, but y'all know my daddy getting this right. Y'all do know that he's getting this. But this came out, this looks beautiful. Beautiful, all over, all around. Even though right here, I must have had some air come through. I see a little bit of air. But for the most part, everything looks good except my picture which is dark but all that color did get off of there oh he's gonna he's going to love it but i think it's cute all right so let's get ready to put this into the convection oven and then we're going to set up our tumbler all right let me cut this one out i do think though next time like 200 seconds may be too much you may not have to do it for so long. And this tumbler, y'all have anxiety over this tumbler because I could not get this tumbler right for nothing today. Nothing. So I think I, I think I'm gonna tape it down. I think I'm gonna do the right thing. Tape it down at the bottom too, and then we'll press it. Thank you, y'all. All right. Uh oh, look, I'm about to put it upside down. What's new? All right. That looks even. We're right there in the center. Perfect. All right, so I'm going to take this, but I do want to tape it all over. So that's what I'm going to do. Thanks, y'all. So what are you guys working on tonight? Or are you working on anything? Since I'm taping all these edges just so that there's no air that goes underneath. But 
on. I put painter's tape on here. Sometimes that painter's tape takes off whatever the coating is. I don't know why it does that. And then it takes off like that frosted look. Um, okay. Oh, you just gotta you just gotta package it really good. Uh oh, I got this too close to here, and this is definitely where air can come in through. So let me try to tape that down. <laughs> I'm biased. I'm gonna have to put them in like some baskets. All right, here's your, this is your morning mug. This is your afternoon mug. So the morning mug is gonna be, I'm gonna have to do a basket. The morning mug is gonna be for the coffee. Like the, that's gonna be the super dad mug. The afternoon mug or the all day mug is gonna be the tumbler. And then the evening mug, of course, is the beer stein. We'll have to put it together real cute and gift like. <laughs> Dr. Cunningham, we're selling some undies. Food to feed, no craft in the night. I hear you, myself. Uh oh, what did Crystal say? Don't tell me she wants AC. Oh, let's be right. Oh. Storms and temperatures in Ohio. What's the temperature where you are, Pistel? This weather today was miserable. I had to leave out of the house to go and get Taylor from school. And whoa. It was hot. All right. So I'm just taking this all the way down because I'm not using anything else inside of here. Like I'm not gonna put any, um, I'm not putting any shrink wrap on top, no painter's tape, no silicone wraps, nothing. It's just gonna go in just like this. So I wanted to tape it down all around the sides and make sure that there is no possible way that any air can get inside of here. 92 feels like 105, I get it. All right, so let me go and put this inside of the convection oven, and then we're going to work on taping this down. And so we gotta put this in here. This is gonna be in the convection oven. The convection oven is set to 375 degrees, and we're going to keep this in here for about 12 to 14 minutes. All right, so I need to take this out by 9.02. So let's see. All right, so let's work on taping the rest of this tumbler down because I really want to be successful with this tumbler, y'all. The other two I did, mm -mm, y'all have seen the video. It's a hot mess. So I want to try to take this down, the bottom and the top. So let's see how this is going to go. So... And this is really to remove any air. Anyway. I was trying to make a t-shirt for my hubby for Father's Day. Oh no, Lily, Martha, that's me all the time. So I keep double checking to make sure. I'm sorry, I hate when that happens. So for you, those of you who were with me on Saturday, do y'all think I should just go ahead? I have a, a polyester shirt that I was going to put the babies, put that image onto, and then um, put the applique on or the patch. And I think I'm getting up on the patch. I don't even want to 
think about it right now. So I'm thinking that that might be what I do instead of doing the embroidery. It's not something that they asked for. I was just doing something extra. All right, so we have it taped down at the bottom. And sometimes when you see like those little creases, that could still get air and that means that it's not really making contact with that part of the tumbler, which is fine because honestly, like it's that like area that kind of bulges out a little bit. I'm looking for designs for my I was on Creative Fabrica earlier today and then got sidetracked because I intended on having these images already decided and printed out before I even got on here. Oh, and as y'all see, that didn't happen. So we're taping this down. I I suggest taping down, especially if you're new to, to um, tumblers and sublimation. I don't generally tape down as much anymore. But you may want to, especially if you're not using like shrink wrap or anything like that. The shrink wrap provides like that extra pressure and tightening of your image. And with this, we don't really have that. Karen, I look, Karen, I tried to do the patch. Girl, it started acting a mess too. I gotta show you. It started, I just, right before I came on here, as soon as I signed in, it started doing that beef and I'm like, you have got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. But nope, I wasn't kidding. All right, so I don't like when it's like, it causes like some bunching because that's where it may not actually get any of that air. Right. And y'all do know Creative Fabrica has like free um, images and design bundles too. All right, let me turn this back on. It shouldn't take long for this to come on. I'm just gonna do the same thing. Press on. Oh, Martha, I usually wear the shirts that I, I print upside down. I usually keep them and just wear them. Like, why not? All right, so we have this all taped down. We're going to actually set this to 180 degrees Celsius. All right, so I'm doing that based off of the recommended settings that they suggest inside of their manual. Because um, when I tried to press this at 200, it was really too much, and the color did not pop. I'm just gonna push this down. Yes, look, look, look. Oh my goodness. So it keeps bunching. So this is the applique that I was talking about, y'all, or the patch. So it keeps bunching and it could. So what I'm thinking is is that it's probably the the digitized file. <laughs> y'all, I digitized this. <laughs> I digitized this number, so you know something's probably wrong with it. But I digitized, I'm thinking that that's the problem because there's just no way that this keeps giving me this much of a problem. See, it bunched in two areas. So, I don't know. I didn't move it yet. I'm gonna try to keep going. I'm gonna try to um, see if it will, it'll just at least stitch out for me and I can still use it. But, all right, so we're all ready. Ready, 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 ready. All right, so this is what we're going to do, y'all, because my phone is hooked up to, my phone is hooked up to StreamYard. Sorry for making all that noise in our ear. Sorry about that. I'll make sure the needle is turned correctly. Okay. Oh, y'all. Fabulous is girl. I gotta remove. I gotta put in a new needle for um the first slot for the first foot. I don't know how that's about to play out. All right, so all I'm doing now is I'm getting more butcher paper, right? 
Oh no. I didn't make it big enough, y'all. Why did you do that? Okay. So I'm just gonna get more butcher paper. This is gonna have to work for me today, y'all, because I'm not gonna do it. Let's see. I just do two. All right, so I'm just wrapping the mug or the tumbler all together because I don't want this to get onto that that plate or the heating element. Y'all saw the mug, and so the mug didn't do all that well. Hey, Don. Happy Tuesday. The dip should be in the back. Okay. I may come on tomorrow when I get ready to replace it. Hopefully, y'all will be around. And if y'all see what I do, then y'all will tell me. Like, girl, you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> and I don't. All right. So, let's get ready to put this into the mug press. Uh-oh. Y'all can see. And the same thing. We're going to lift it and open it. Uh-oh. That's what I forgot to do, y'all. Check the pressure. I forgot to check the pressure. So typically, that's why I turned it off. Typically, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to um, pre, like, adjust the machine. But since we're here tonight, we're going to adjust it together. All right. So I'm just going to put this in. And then I don't know, like, with how it is like if it heats up at the edge so i don't know look there's no pressure y'all at all it's not so you should supposed to do this before y'all don't be like me and doing it after Let me take it out. I don't want to do it and then. Oh, Y'all know what? I'm going to go get another a, a mug. Give me a minute. A tumbler. I don't want to mess this one up. I don't put through all this taping this down too. I need to go get another one. Good night, Dr. Cunningham. Thank you. Hold on, y'all. Let me get another tumbler. Alright, let's see. And I still have this heat press on, so I think I'm gonna just do, do the sublimation or maybe just print out a DTF print of it for that um onesie. Alright, so here is the tumbler that we're gonna be testing out just to make sure the pressure is good. I don't really know. And it looks like it's tightening up. And so that's the only thing with this. This is what you have to do. You have to adjust the pressure for the most part anytime you're doing um, tumblers and when you're using presses like this. But I want you guys to see just how loose it is. Like it's really, really loose. So that's why I gotta keep adjusting it. Because you want it to close, like how it's closed, but you want it to be applying that pressure to it. And right now, it's tightening up. And that's what you have to do because this is more narrow than the actual 
than that mug that we did. But I kind of see now, I can kind of see now why um, the problem that I was having earlier with it, because see, it, it's not really making that good of a contact in that area. So let me see something else. See what happens when I hang out with y'all? I kind of, I could think a little bit better. So let me see if moving it. So it could be, I can't really have it um, too far. I don't know, y'all. We're going to have to research it. It's almost time to get out that beer sign. Thank you, Unbias. Because y'all know I'd be forgetting. I almost did forget it. I heard the I heard the convection oven making some noise. All right, let me go. I'm gonna go get it in a second, and then we'll get ready to press the actual tumbler that we have. But that's the only thing. Like it's just to do. But if you're doing mugs, if you're doing one thing only, then you know it'll be fine. But like us tonight, where we're switching up. That's why I can get a little much. All right, let me put this here so that we can go and get that mug out of there. Oh, this thing on my table. All right, y'all, so we are all ready to see what this mug looks like. Let me put my little tongs over here, and then we'll press the sublimation tumbler, and then we'll do, I'm probably, is it even hooked up? I gotta get the other computer, which is fine too, because I need to print out that DTF. So that's gonna be fine. Well, this, is, this one's hot. This is not like, the stuff that comes out of here. That um convection oven does not play. All right. Let's see. Let me see if you guys can really see it. Yeah, that's better. All right. Uh -oh. So let's see. And this is what we have. Not bad. This is ink left over. And so this was in there. That was what about like 13, 14 minutes, right? That was a while. So look at that. So with these mugs, these are the frosted mugs. Y'all know like that inside is what really usually be popping with all the colors. But this actually looks really, really good. So now it's time for us to remove it from the other side. And as y'all see, I did not use any um, shrink wrap or anything like that, but you have to be careful when you're doing it like this because, oh, that's hot, y'all. You have to be careful, and I don't want to scratch off the stuff. You have to be careful when you're doing it like this because um, you don't want any air to get underneath. So that's why I taped it all around, but I made sure that it was pressed tightly to the mug And you don't want to use anything like um, painter's tape on it. Let me just go ahead and peel it. It should feel fine. All right, looking good. Still have, this looks like a lot of ink left on it though. But most of that is on the inside. Like, I don't know if you guys could tell the inside. Like most of it, I don't know why with the frosted mugs, that's what happens. Like it all kind of goes on the inside. Oh, yeah. Hey, Mary, what, you need one of these colors? A green to put a, a frog on a green one? If that's what you're telling me, 
Let me know if that's what you what you're saying. Please, girl. Thanks, Karen. So this is number two. So y'all about to do number three. We're gonna see if number three even works out because I have not had that much success with number three. Oh, there's something inside. I was like, what is that on here? There's something inside of here. All right, so let's yes, okay. All right, girl. I'm gonna send you a message. I think I have. I think I have another one of these. I have a few of them, actually. I shall check and see. Hey, Beverly. Welcome. All right, y'all. So on to our last mug, and then we're gonna do this flask. All right. So it's at 180 degrees, and we are going to be pressing this for. The first round, it says 130 seconds, then we're going to do another 90 seconds, and then we're going to do 30 and 30, okay? That's what they said that we're supposed to do, so that's what we're going to do. Let me find that scene. I usually like to place the scene down first. Thanks, Marty. Yeah. And then we're going to open it. And I need to put pull up my timer. Let's see, because I need a timer, online timer. Seconds. Um, I don't want five minutes. We're just gonna do 90 seconds. Oh, no, first we're gonna do 130 seconds, right? Maybe one minute and 10 seconds. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put this in. And I'm just going to make sure. Remember how we were looking at it before? Um, I don't know what this is going to clamp. And I am going to press the time here. And then we are going to press the time on the on Google, because Google has a timer. If you guys did not know that, Google has a timer. That all you have to do when you go to Google search, type in online timer, and it will pop right up, right there within the search, and you can do everything from there. I don't know if you guys could see it good. See my timer? I don't know if y'all can see that. Probably can't. Uh-oh, looks like my phone's about to die too, y'all. I don't know. <laughs> yep, it is about to die. Let me get a um, my other charger. Let's see if I have time. made it back all right so that was a hundred and 30 seconds so now we're gonna move it slide it through and you know I really should pick a design that didn't um Have so much stuff on it. All right, so let me set this up. And see, this is the only thing. Like, I don't. This is what I don't really like. All right, so let's go ahead and press it again for ninety seconds. Hopefully, I got that middle good. Okay, and so my timer has started. Uh oh. All right. I don't know 
if I'm even supposed to have to do that or not. Is this toy going to? I guess not. I'm going to try here. Why can't I see? Good. All right, y'all. So we're counting down. Okay, Mary, where is it? done this side all right so now we are going to rotate it and it's like when I did it, it there's like a little bunch bunching so you rotate the side that did not have like the side that was at the top and so we're gonna do this for 30 seconds And then we're going to do the other for, we're gonna push it up and then do that one for 30 seconds too. And hopefully this is gonna come out decent. I am going to let's see about this flask. All right. That was 30 seconds. And now I'm just going to pull it up. For 30 more seconds. And then it will actually beat. So I could I'm not in the chat, y'all. Like I'm looking at this timer, but it actually beeps, but because I have the volume turned down, I can't, um, can't hear it that well. All right, so, so far, two out of three is decent. My fingers are crossed for this one, y'all, because I have not had any success with this yet. All right, so we're done. And I'm going to turn this off because we won't be using it, it again tonight. Let me plug it. Look back on the charger, on computer. And then we're just going to move this aside. But I want you all to see just how easy this is. Let me go back to the yard. Y'all, just help clamp it and just move it to the side. Like, that's why I really like it. Like, it's so easy to like maneuver. Like, you don't even have to do too much. Like, I love it. That's why I like it. All right, y'all. So, let's see how this turned out. I don't know. I don't know. But we're, we're going to be hopeful. Hopefully, I pushed it up enough when I was doing the, um, like, that second part. Because I couldn't really tell, like, the middle part, like which part had been subbed and which part hadn't been subbed. So I don't know, but also y'all, this, I don't, it doesn't get that hot. Like how that mug was from coming out of the convection oven. I could not touch that mug. But this doesn't get, yeah, this doesn't get too hot. All right, so, yep, same thing. I don't know if you guys could see it, but there is, and see how it kind of like bunched up. I don't know if it's the convection. Oh God, I see it. It did. It, it's that part at the top again, I think. But look, y'all, there is ink on here. There you go. You can see it. So let's see how this turned out. Already, and this is what I noticed from before. Look, so you see the color here, right? But then up here, you don't see color. So I'm trying to figure out if it's just in this mud press. Like this is just not. You can't 
you know, hack it. You know, I did see that. I don't know if they did like a 15 ounce tumbler. I know they did 15, but I don't know if they did like a 20 ounce tumbler in it. But that doesn't look that doesn't look too good to me because you can see the ink in all the other areas except there. Yeah, it's not even hot anymore. See, yeah, no, it did not too good, y'all. And I have to take down. I can tell unless it was the press. All right, let's see. And I was extra taping it down. <laughs> Turn beastie on. All right, y'all. Let's see. I already see the results. And look at my look at my look. Now y'all know that's a hot mess. And I taped it down. And look at the I don't think it's I don't think it's good for it. Look at the bottom. I taped the bottom down. The rest of it, the middle doesn't look too bad. Like the middle looks fine. My scene looks a hot mess though. Look, y'all. And that's not. I'm gonna show y'all my other ones that I did. And then this, I think this is just like debris. So I don't know. I have not, I have done three tumblers on here. And none of them have come out good. Let me show you. So the bottoms, and let me show you, I didn't even take these bottoms down. Okay, we'll go with that, Mary Borzak. Well, I'll be like that, yeah. Vintage like you but this is like debris from i don't know if it's from the paper or what but it comes off with like water because the same thing happened to me before but y'all look at that look at this scene i'm gonna have to do something some some love put some extra love and attention on this mug so this is the one i did these earlier in the mug press right and so the bottom look at the bottoms of it now i didn't put any tape onto these bottoms like this bottom i didn't put i didn't put any tape onto this bottom and then i didn't put any tape at the top either which is here and then this one i actually did for 200 degrees this one i put tape like at the bottom but not like how i taped this one down so remember how I, like this one got taped like a full wrap all the way around. This one I just kind of put tape and like tape the bottoms a little bit. But look how it's still like it's still ghosted. And the same thing for the top. This one I taped down and it's still ghosted. So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I should try a full wrap with these tumblers. I think I should try another full wrap in the convection oven to see maybe the tumblers are defective. I don't know, because that's so strange. That is super, super strange. Maybe I'll try, because it's from this one batch that I have. Maybe I'll try this one and see, because these are from the same the same place. All, all of these are from the same place. So I can't imagine, well, I know this, um, this is a hot mess though. Y'all, y'all, I'm not troubleshooting tonight. But this, like I did this, this one, like, see, look, this is, the seam is right here for this, right? For this one. The seam came out good for the, it was just this. So that must have been application, but I take that seam down real good. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I'm about to. I don't know. Maybe this is just for like mugs. I do have like a a sippy cup that I was gonna try, but I didn't have nobody to give the sippy cup to, so I was like, I don't want to waste a sippy cup. 
because the sippy cup is less than 15 ounces. Or is it 15 ounces? Okay, still, I did get this design from Creative Fabrica, I think. Let me double check. It might have been Creative Fabrica or Design Bundles. Let me see. Let me see. I don't remember. Um, no, I think it was Creative Fabrica. It was from Creative Fabrica. And this one says, Dad, the man, the myth, the fishing legend. All right, y'all. So let's engrave something since we're up. Because that's a hot mess. I can't. I'm not happy about this, y'all, at all. At all. And look at that top. Like, I actually, I taped all that down. So that's it makes me think that I don't know if you guys could kind of like tell like there's like a hard line right here and then here so if it's possible that it's the tumblers y'all now gotta now gotta try this out now I gotta um I gotta do another one I'm sorry y'all not like this not like not like this hey Evie the girls over here being a hot mess per the usual. Happy Tuesday. All right, y'all. Let me see what type of tumbler I'm gonna print out now. Cause I gotta do an I gotta check. Let me turn the convection oven back on because I did turn it off. I just wanna see and see if it's me or what. Usually it's me. All right, so I turned the convection oven back on. We are going to print out one more. And then luckily I just bought a whole bunch of glitter. So I can go ahead and glitter and epoxy these. But this one, my dad, my dad's good in this. He'll like it. He'll like it, I'm sure. I'll probably just like do something to the bottom. Maybe put some vinyl or something. But let me see. I want to look for another design. Creative Fabrica. We're going to go on Creative Fabrica. Um, let's see. Something nice and vibrant. Let me see. And we're going to do it all over. I'm not going to cheat and do something that's kind of faded around the edges, even though that's what I want to do at this point. I'm not going to do that. All right, I'm going to do a Juneteenth tumbler. Why not? Let's see. Let me put copy. Open. Uh oh. What's the difference between these two? I don't see a big difference. One's PNG. Oh, I want the PNG. All right, y'all. Give me a few. Oh, no. Why is it tapered? Who told them to taper the tumbler? That makes no sense. I don't want a tapered tumbler. I don't want that. All right, I got to go back to the drawing board, Joe. Because they only give one option. I don't know why. Oh no, they said that it's two options. Let me see. They said. But it's really not. Oh my goodness. I right, get the JPEG. I don't like the JPEG, but. All right, so we're going to go with the same size that we had before. Let me pull y'all over here with me. Uh, add screen share. All right, so we're back inside of... Let's see. Let me see. Let me see. Marcel. I hope it's the tumbler. 
<laughs> it does look like it's the tumbler. So I need to check, but then again, it could be, I'm gonna have to, you know what I'm gonna do just to test it out on some of them. I'm gonna mark some of them up with the infusible ink marker and see like if that area, the top and the bottom, you know, takes a little bit better. But it does seem like it's the tumbler, but I don't know. This is just too much. <laughs> We are, we are. All right, so we're gonna go into, I'm gonna do this at a 9.3 by 8.125. Oh no, now I gotta get out my um, heat gun. All right, so we're gonna do this, okay. I'll move this over here. Let me put my stroke to black. And then I'm just going to put this inside. No, I don't want that like that. And I don't really like that color either. But I guess that's the color they did it, right? All right, let me draw inside. Now I want to paste it in there. All right. So I'm just going to resize it so that it fits. Let's see. And then I am going to snap into place. It did not snap. All right, let's see. All right, that's in place now. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and remove that black border from around there. All right. So now we're ready to print. print. And I am going to print this on the same printer. I'm not going to switch it up. Let's make sure everything looks good. The color options are good. Print settings are good. All right. So let's print. Print, print, print. All right, it should be starting. All right, so we're going to be testing this one out. Y'all, I can't. These look a hot mess. All right, let me stop screen sharing. Okay, did I miss anything? You need something girly? Are you gonna, Harrison, are you gonna make your own? Do you want me to send it to you? You gonna? You have a design? Or you want me to make the design? Tell me. I'm hoping that's the case. I'm hoping that's the case. I actually have some other tumblers that I could try. Now I'm going to have to be trying this out. I'm not going to be able to rest until I figure this out tomorrow. But looking at the edge, like I just see like it's like a sharp edge right here. And then, I don't know. The way I take that down, y'all, there's no way that it should look like that. And that bottom. I mean, it doesn't look any better than the ones that I did earlier. Without any tape. So, I don't know. We will see soon. It's the same batch. But, I mean... I can't imagine I put three out and then the others are okay. Three out, maybe one. No. Let's see, did I miss anything? Can you do black strip and we sub over the scene? Yeah, that's what I may try to do that for some. Um, the only thing is that sometimes like the black will come out different depending on like how long you press and it just it's it'll you could still see it but i wouldn't really necessarily worry about that i think that would be fine you know going around there sometimes what i do is i'll take when it's not so bad like here like i would take a sharpie and just like kind of put the sharpie on there and then that kind of works sometimes too or the cricut infusible ink markers 
will work for y'all. This tumbler looked like it's been through and it's it's only a few minutes old. Well, for subbing. But it looks like it, it has been through the ringer. So let me get my heat gun. Let me turn off this heat press because I don't think I want to do it yet. And y'all don't see everything go black. I'm going to have a blackout over here. Because... And I'm going to try to redo my little one. I keep messing up. Okay, let me get my thing, y'all. Doing this over. It looks like there's some black something. I don't know what in the world. Y'all, I told y'all the other night, like, crafting might not be my thing anymore. We, crafting and I, we might be done. All right, let's see. Come on, just cut this out. Hey, Jessica. All right, let me cut this out. We are going to wrap it and sub it in the convection oven. I feel like this dry a little bit. All this black. I've been thinking. I can still, I can feel it. It feels a little wet. That is so good. Eve, girl, I, it's been a hot mess. Like every, every, you didn't even, girl, I'm still doing this um, patch. Now I'm doing a patch and it's still like, it keeps bunching. The machine has stopped twice. And I'm like, you know what? Well, baby's about to just get some DTF and that's it. I was trying to be extra and that's what happens. Finish this. We're going to. I said we were going to do some um, laser that flask. Those that's going to be like four drinking items. All right. So this goes like this, right? So now we're going to place our tumbler. No, I did not clean myself. Oh, but it's okay. Oh no, there's that scratch on me. All right, so we're going to place this inside of the convection oven. All right, and we will be able to see whether or not it's me or them. <laughs> Let's see. We're gonna see. All right, I'm just making sure that this is as even as possible. Oh, y'all can't see what I'm doing, huh? But that's what I'm doing, making sure that it's even. Let's see. Yolanda, I use, I have sublimation ink called Dynamic Ink. It's in my Etsy shop, and that's what I use. Go back and read. Oh, Eve. Okay, so Eve, I tried some water soluble backing, right? That didn't work. Um, then I tried, I'm like, okay, let's do some stairway. stairway. That didn't work. And then now I'm doing um, regular stabilizer. But then the machine, it's like, it's certain part. I think it's really, it's probably the file. Because, girl, you know, I digitized it and I don't even know what I'm doing. And so... 
I digitized the one and I'm thinking that maybe it's me. Maybe, maybe I did something wrong that's causing all this headache for poor Brody. And Brody is like sick and tired of me already. So it's about to be just me and Emma again because I can't, I don't know. All right, y'all, this is all, this is all I do when I tape down my tumblers and I put them in the collection oven. I just tape down the seam and that's it. That's all I do. Thank you, Mayor Bear. <laughs> Thank you, Unbiased. I love y'all. I told y'all it's summer. Y'all don't be tired of me. I'm sure I'll be back on again this week. I have to make a rhinestone template for the manager at Duncan. Um, I'm making another special template. Um, and I'll probably come on with y'all to, to cut it. Because I still Eve, I still have not used those Cyan A B yet. And I can't wait to use it. And I'm going to use it this week. All right, y'all. So now we're going to put the shrink wrap. Y'all have not used shrink wrap in a minute. So we're gonna use shrink wrap today. Because yeah. All right, so I usually it might not be a big deal, but I usually like to turn it this way. And then I kind of hit the shrink wrap first. Not the shrink wrap, the seam first with the heat. Batch master, I was talking about recommended. Batch fabric called Twilly. Okay. I need to, you know, I'm going to have to come back and look at this because, whew, girl, your girl's over here struggling. Struck. Ling. Struggling. Like the struggle is real. Real, real. All right, let me put this on. We are just going to press this. Hopefully, we can turn off. Oh, it was ready. It's like, girl, you haven't used me in a minute. I'm ready for you. All right, so I'm just going to take the heat gun and I usually hit the middle or hit the seam first. enough and I did not tape as y'all saw oh goodness as y'all saw I did not tape the rim of the bottom we're just gonna go with it like this all right so I'm gonna put this in a convection oven I'm using the Hamilton Beach if I didn't tell y'all before rotisserie XO it's set at 375 degrees and I'm gonna leave this in for about four and a half minutes and then I'll be back to chat with y'all All right, so the time is 9.40. Oh, it's late now, y'all. All right, y'all. What did I do with my other computer? Oh, it's a hot mess. Looks like you may not be doing it. Because I can't. You're just right in my face. All right, y'all. So we still have a few more minutes. I 
Okay. All right, y'all. You know what? While we're on here, I am going to check out my uh, other situation. Let me move this for now. I got a few more minutes. Stop screen share. Remove from my little filthy table. Maybe Unleash Crafter. All right. Just gonna download. Uh oh. I, I gotta wait. I gotta wait anyway, y'all, because I still have to download and blah, 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 blah. So if y'all are okay, we will wait. All right, got about three more minutes. But this one came out so cute. Look at this mug. Came out really, really cute. Anybody's initial starts with a P? And I'm gonna tell y'all that so many mugs that have peas on it. And well, maybe I try to tape it first. Krista, what do you tape when you tape the tumbler? What happens with your shrink wrap? It's really cute. Any peas out there besides me? Thank you. All right, it looks like we got maybe one more minute, y'all. Oh. Let's see what this tumbler looks like. But I don't think it's the tumbler because I've done, like, it, it might just be some of them. I don't know. Y'all know I got to blame somebody. Hey, Magic. Oh, Priscilla's name starts with a P. Priscilla can have this mug. She can drink her some tea inside of it. So Jessica, send me your address. Do I already have your address? Oh no. <laughs> Hold on y'all. It's time for me to go and snatch this up. Where's my little tongs? Right here. All right y'all. I can tell y'all already it's definitely not the tumblers. <laughs> I can I can look and see that it's not the tumblers. Maybe um maybe this mug press, you know, it only lets me be great with the little mugs. Maybe it won't let me be great with tumblers, and I'm fine with that. I have my convection oven that usually, you know, treats me well usually treats me well so we shall see all right hold on let me move it over so y'all can see that already you can tell like we have better outcomes now i already see a part at the bottom which i knew like a little bit of this bunching right here that's never you see how that looks that's never any good i didn't tape it but it's perfectly fine I don't really mind. I just needed to know if it was me or if it were, oh goodness. So usually it's better to peel this off right away and I sat right underneath the air. So that's usually no good because then it gives it time to harden. And I just don't like to give it that time that it needs to get like that. 
Yeah. And we're going to be doing a spiral turn. Just take it off. Let's see. No, that's not my auntie. <laughs> he is not my auntie. She a hot mess like her though too, but she's not my auntie. All right. So, as y'all see, it's coming through. See what we have underneath here. Uh oh, that bottom, nice and dry. Still not seen, y'all. What the? What is going on with your girl over here today? But it's not the tumblers. It's me. <laughs> it's not. Well, it's. I don't know about the heat press though. I don't necessarily know about the heat press, but it's not. It's definitely not the tumblers. It actually came out pretty good. Not too bad. The only part that scene don't look right. Don't like it at all. But I lined it up pretty good though. I did. But yeah. All right, so I feel better. Thank you, Delanda. So that's what we have, y'all. So it's not the tumbler. So I don't know with the mug press. Maybe there's a certain part that it doesn't actually reach to. I don't know. We're going to have to, I don't know. I don't even know if I have the energy to play around with it. This may just be my mug, like a cute mug press that can go various places with me and do different things, but just mugs. Not trying to switch around and rotate and all that stuff. I can't do that. I'm not really built for that type of, of setup. But this came out a thousand times better than what we had, except that bottom where I had that bunching, but it's still not too bad. Not bad at all. I might give this away. I can always keep it. You know what? I'm going to keep it. Remind me of the night that or the day that I messed up three tumble, tumblers, y'all. I don't remember a time where I messed up three tumblers in one day. Almost four. That was nearly four tumblers with that extra bunching around there. I messed up three tumblers, y'all. Look at, look at this. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Fifi, you've gotten like a thousand tumblers already for me. A thousand, clearly. Literally a thousand tumblers. Oh, my auntie, my auntie wants to come on here, but she wants she wants it to be on her terms. She can't come with me. The hot mess. All right, y'all. So are we still do we still want to do some? Hold on. Do we still want to do the engraving? Let me remove this. I gotta throw this in the garbage bag. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Oh, she's good at stuff like that. Look like candles. Oh, Maria. <laughs> I like that type of thinking, Maria. I do. All right, y'all. So... Let me try to set up this thing for us to engrave these flasks. We have some six ounce flasks. At first I was gonna do, um, at first I was going to just do like uh, some vinyl on it, but we can actually try to engrave it. Our mugs came out cute. Happy about that. Good night, Rochelle. <laughs> Rochelle. Rochelle, it's been a, like, for the past two weeks, I have been a hot mess, a hot mess. So these are the fat flask 
that we're going to try to engrave on. And they are coated. They're six ounce flask. Got these from Amazon. Um, it's going to be my first time engraving on them. And I think you could actually do this inside. Like you could do this with, if you have a Glowforge, you can definitely do this with your Glowforge also. So I'm just going to go ahead and download Creative Fabrica onto my other computer. Well, not download Creative Fabrica. Download the files. Or do I have that on Design Bundles? It might be on Design Bundles. Let me see. Design Bundles. No worries, Christelle. Is on the screen grab. VHS already. No worries. What type of... No. Uh, oh goodness, I forgot that I don't have a um, thing under here. So the shrink wrap, what's happening with your shrink wrap? Is it melting um, in the convection oven? What's going on with your shrink wrap? And then I'll see if, if um, I can help you, y'all, y'all. It's a whole, oh, let me log in with Facebook. And now I don't even remember my Facebook. Oh my goodness, y'all. I don't remember my Facebook password. They just asked me for it the other day and I did not remember it. Oh my goodness. You do not want me to be great. Do not want me to be great. At all. Delonda, don't laugh at her, girl. Just because a hot mess. She's a whole hot mess, girl. Which one of design bundles have red and crazy card of that? Do you have Explore 2 and that one in grade? Well, I have the Explore 3, but there is a tool that you could get to engrave um, with the Explore. I haven't gotten it because I usually just engrave with either the maker or um, with like, well, but there is a tool that you can engrave. Delanda, do you have a video? Is Zim's here? Delanda, do you have a video with engraving on the Explore 2 using, cause there's a special tool, like it's not a Cricut brand tool, um, but it, it, there is a tool out there that allows you to engrave. I don't know if Delanda does it, but Delanda has been doing um, engraving so she may know or she may actually have a video if you guys don't know who Delanda Cricket and what Delanda is she's here and she's a hometown girl we're from the same place graduated from the same school so check her out but Delanda let let us know if Dems or Marilyn is here maybe they could I want to put this password again and again another time because it they're going to kick me out yes this is me it's like logging. That's what it is. is that you? Yes, that's me. It's gonna lock me. Oh, yo! I remembered the password. That's so strange. All right, let's go. Thank <laughs> you. You know how they keep telling you to change your password. Do this. Do that, and then. By the time, okay, here's let me get my little goggles because I'm excited. So I should, now I'm not going to fire Bell up right now. So we're only going to do this on the X tool. Um, I'll probably come back on and do it with Bell, depending on how this works out. So Delanda said, yes, yeah, so Delanda has um, on her channel, she has where she engraved with the Cricut Explore 2 with a tool. Please check her out. Hold on. Hold on. Let me see. I'm about to download this, y'all. We're just, we're in this together, y'all. Okay? We're just in this together. Y'all just be down for whatever with all of my shenanigans. What is this thing called? Messing up. I don't think I had a smooth a smooth live in a while. I don't know what I will do if I have a smooth live. Where 
really? Uh uh. Sorry, y'all. It did not pull up my thing for me. Oh, here it is. Leaves a box. See boo. Thank you, Mary. And let me see. All right. So I have. Um, I know what I'm gonna come over here and let y'all see what I'm looking at. Um. What is this thing called? Streamyard. Let me take my phone down because uh, we may need it still. Enter studio. Mm-mm-mm. Mute. Let me turn this line down. Mute. Stop him. Enter cat link. Nope. Yo, we need a, a name for the X tool. What names do you guys like? Do you guys like just X or I don't know. I don't know. I can't think of anything clever. All right, let's see. So we're going to share the screen. Um, Oh, first, let me look at this first. Xander. I like Xander. I like Xander, Marilyn. Because at first I was thinking of like Xavier, but I like Xander. All right, let me see y'all. What, what type of, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Have you guys, well, I'm not even gonna bother y'all because y'all won't become strange. Um, definitely not a flask. Alcohol kills. Liquid patient might be water. Uh, whiskey helps me appreciate. Let's see what these look like. Oh. Okay, we're going to have to go to the laser box. Not on my Mac. I don't really know how to work on other types of computers that well. I know how to work on them well enough downloads but this one did not download why because it does not open what type of files is this hold on y'all this is too much um necessary thoughts definitely not a class might be water if you like that one Let's, let's do might be water. Miss Berlinda, going with you. Going with you. Enable. But I'm trying to figure out why I can't import it into the laser box system. Let me see if I can copy it. See if I can copy it and paste it. Copy and paste. Hopefully that will work. Nope, it won't. (laughs) It won't work, (sighs) y'all. Nothing ever works. Nothing ever works anymore. I just don't know what to do. All right. And I know I've done laser box on here before. Why is it not working today? Mm-mm-mm-mm. Let me try this again. Oh. I'll do save picture as. Let's see. Might be water. Let's put a document. Okay. Now let's see if that's going to open it up. This is just way too much. But thanks for being here with me, y'all. I appreciate it. 
Okay, import. Now it's not even opening the import screen for me. This is no good. I like Sandra Mirabier. Okay, the logo zone. Import. But it won't let me import anything. Why not? All right, let me close out of laser box again. Mm, mm, mm. All right, laser box. We're just doing one flash tonight, y'all, to see how it looks. I might do a video showing this flash. Um, Danny, I think it's from I think it's from Creative Fabrica. Yeah. It's from Creative Africa. Oh, it's really, really nice. I like it. I do, I do. Yep, no documents. Might be water. Loading project. Let's see. Because somehow it's saved. I don't know how it's saved, y'all. The image exceeds. The canvas size, that's perfectly fine. All right, we're in business now. Let me share, share screen, and go. All right, so now we're inside of Laserbox and they have different softwares you can use for the X tool, but I'm using Laserbox because it's very, very easy. And I, um, yeah, that's why I'm using it because it's easy. Light burn, um, maybe a little more difficult, but I just need to see where's my measuring tape. God, I don't know where the measuring tape is. Oh, it is right here next to me. Literally right here next to me. Oh, the logo's on my hot mess. But I'm good. I'm good. I'm blessed to be alive. I'm thankful to be here with y'all tonight and thankful that I messed up these tumblers because it's still all good. I tell myself that. I tell myself that. There's people who want to do tumblers and they can't do them at all. So I'm thankful that I had the ability to do that with y'all. I am picking myself. All right, three. Let me see. Now I gotta do convert inches into millimeters. Because I can't. I can't. This two. Okay, so that's gonna be like 76. So I'm gonna go with about 75 by. So here, this is where you would adjust it. So right now. The height is 75, so I'm going to do the width. Well, the height is 176. I'm going to do the height to be 75. You know what? Let's just do 70. How about that? And then the width, we're going to do 70. Oh, I don't like how that looks, y'all. I do not like how that 70 looks in the height. I think we need to do... Let's do 80. No, oh, that's too much. Let's do 80. All right, that might be because at least it'll be a little bit longer. So we're just going to have to, we're going to have to see. All right, so right now the way that it is, it's, um, so if it engraves now, it's just going to engrave the outline. It's not going to engrave the inside. And I think I want to engrave the inside. So that's going to take a little bit longer. So let's see. Thank you, the logo zone. Good night, Mary Warzak. I'm going to email you or I'm going to send you a DM or instant. I don't even know what the thing is called on Facebook. So that way, um, I, I'm sure that I have that green beer sign, okay? 
So you know I have your address. All right, so we are actually going to select all of this, right? And I want to fill that in because I want it to be, you know, nice and engraved. And so we're going to fill it in. And that's what you do. Like you just click down here to fill it in or unfill it or whatever. And so then we are we going to need to rotate it? We don't need to rotate it. I'm going to leave it just like this so that it can engrave straight just like this. And we are going to change this to coated metal. That's right there. All right, so we're using the standard settings. I'm gonna put on these shades in a minute. And that's all. So we're gonna see how this turns out. So this is our, let me switch over. I don't know if I showed you guys, but this is, it's just a six ounce flask, all right? So we're just gonna engrave right here. All right, we move, and then I'm gonna move y'all over here with me to the mm -mm. let's see. Uh oh, here's that onesie I'm supposed to be doing, y'all. I've given up on the onesie just for just for now. When I get off the job, I'm gonna work on um Brody for a little bit because Brody is not acting right. So let me see if I'm going to add you guys on here to this stream. And then I'm going to stop sharing um, the X tool screen. Make me a little bit smaller. And then we are going to see what we're going to do. All right, so I'm going to move this. I was actually planning on doing some rubber, cutting some rubber today, but I didn't get around to it. And I have another flask here because I was going to do a video and we didn't do that. So, I don't know what's going on with me. Uh-oh, y'all. So, let me see. I'm trying to see if this is going to be... Alright, so this should be good. So, with the X tool, you have to adjust... And before the lights start going on, I'm going to turn it off because I don't want you guys that light to cause migraines and vision situations. I don't know how it will be seen to you guys on the other side. So I don't really want to put any of you at jeopardy of anything. All right, so I'm just going to go and connect the computer. And so it's supposed to be wireless, but for the most part, I usually just connect the computer to it because, I don't know, I haven't had all that great success with the wireless component. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So I don't know if it's a me situation, which it could 100% be a me situation. Mirror, mirror, we should do flask together on the Glow Forge. All right, so right now I am going to. Um, so in the machine, I've already selected. I did not select it. See, now it's only registering the one on the. Oh, there it is. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and select engrave. And then what we'll do now is we need to position the, the laser. I'm just waiting for the screen to update. Okay, so now it's updated. This is going to take, y'all stuck with me for like 20 so minutes, so we'll be doing some other things. And so right now I'm just positioning the laser to start where I think it should start because my idea was that it was going to be, and see, so this is the new X tool honeycomb tray, y'all. They finally sent me the honeycomb tray and I love it. So this helps me kind of like align the item and then they include like these magnets to kind of help keep it stable 
and position correctly. So I just pushed it up, so that's fine. And then I'm just going to, just to make sure that it doesn't move. Now you can put other things there to, you know, prevent it from moving, it's up to you. But right now I'm just positioning it and I know I kind of wanted to cover the center, right? So if you want, you can actually mark it yourself, um, like with a, a pen or a pencil, something that can be removable. But I'm just going to leave it right here, and then we're going to go ahead and frame it. So in the X tool app, there's an option for you to click framing. And so once you do framing, it's going to frame it. So this is what framing looks like. All right, so one thing I see, I'm going to have to move it up. But what I didn't do, y'all, is I did not focus it. And so to focus, let me frame it again, and then I'll show you guys what focusing looks like. And you have to do it each time. Mm. All right, so not too bad. I'm just gonna put it down just so right there. That should be fine. I like that. Um, I'm gonna frame it one more time, but there's a little lever on the side, and then what you do is I'm gonna bring it up, and then I am going to drop it down. Typically, you want to frame it like in the center because for the most part, your items are going to be flush or most of the time, sometimes, not most of the time, sometimes. But because of the shape of the flask, it's kind of curved, it's slightly curved. I don't necessarily want that middle part, but I just want to make sure that it will be able to clear. So here, you're going to drop down your little side leather and then... I just want to make sure that it's going to clear that center because I want it. If not, it'll get it'll be light. Like the middle will be dark and then the sides will be light. You don't really want that. So, but you can't do it too far over. So now I'm just tightening back up the aperture, and we are going to lift this up. All right, so we're back in business, and so now I'm going to do that laser one more time and frame it, just because I had to move it. Okay, so that looks really, really good, y'all. I'm going to put on my shades. Good night, Christelle. Let me put on my on my laser blocker, and now I am going to. I want to. I'm going to remove you guys from the screen because I'm going to press start, and that laser is going to start going. And I don't want you guys to be seeing that. All right, so we're going to click start, and it should get ready to start. So right now it's moving. I don't know if you guys probably can't see it. I hope you guys can't see that light over there. Because right now it's moving. It's not too bad. The light isn't, it's really not too bad. So excited. Love. I love the X tool actually. I really like it. I really like the rotary. Um I don't have anything bad to say about the X tool. Like All right, so I may go over here and try to clean out this bird's nest and see if I could get this to keep stitching for me. We might go ahead and do that tonight. If y'all, y'all, as y'all can see, your girl is off of work. Not really off of work, but it's a difference when you're not lesson planning. I don't have to trace, chase down any kids. I don't have any parent phone calls that I got to be taking. Like it's a, it's it's different. It's different. So, yeah. So now I just want to do all the things with y'all and keep y'all on here with me all day. 
I had to fight. Yesterday, I was like, oh, I'm going to go live. I'm like, no, you don't go live. Like, get your life together. You have a lot of things that you need to be doing. Y'all know I love y'all. We have fun together. And y'all keep me sane. Oh, Eve, I got to change. I got to change the needle in in the first press foot. I'm so nervous about this. So nervous about this. We're going to have to do a, a FaceTime. Because I don't know. How are you so calm, Eve? I don't know. It has me, like, stressed out thinking about it. Let me try to move this. And then remember when it, the act, I think I'm going to move the, the embroidery machine to probably over there. Like, I think it's time for me to move this. But I got to, let me move some of this thread by adjusting the pull. Unbiased. What in the what? What in the what? Y'all, th these shades take out, like, all the color. Like, you don't see yellow. Like this yellow thread, I know it's yellow because I know what color thread it's supposed to be, but it looks, with these shades on, it looks like, you can see red, but like yellow, nope. All right, we're going to try this one more time, y'all. So we still got, I think we got, let me see how many more minutes we got. We probably got like another 20 minutes. We have, yeah, 18 more minutes to go so I can try it. Oh, y'all, it's looking so good, y'all. It really, it's already, it's looking good. You just got to clean it up, but it's looking so good. Oh, Eve, I'm a scaredy cat. You know that about me already. You know that about me. All right, let me see. Got me all like, I'm like, oh, I could go ahead and make this shirt. I can go ahead and place these rhinestones in this template and press the shirt. Y'all, this is what happens when I don't have to go to work. This is usually, this is what I'm usually doing, like up at night. Mostly, though, I'm usually, like, doing some, like, designing or answering emails and everything because it's just too much to do. Uh-oh, y'all. No. I don't know if I could put, put this thread in here without this, with these glasses on. I can't see nothing. Okay. There we go. There we go. Looking different. All right, so I'm going to see if I could kind of skip a few places and then if not, we're doing, we're going to do um, either sublimation or DTF. Either one. That was the plan anyway, but I just want to thank you and the baby's turning one, so it's, I don't mind if there's certain parts that's not perfect because he's not going to probably wear this too much longer. He's going to, you know, it's just like a, it's just a birthday shirt. Oh, fabulosis. I'm going to have to come on live. I'm going to do a, a members only live and then I'm going to see where y'all at. So y'all can come and help me out. Hey, Anita. Anita, girl, I got to call you this week. We need to make plans for next week, girl. Because this week, I'm a hot mess. Why am I scratching up my thing? All right, y'all. We're going to see how this turns out. Uh-oh. I didn't even put the bottom back in. Let's see how this looks. Okay. All right. 
Let's so hope I'm not breaking anything, y'all. It would seem like the girl was over here about to break something. All right. I'm going to put this back in. And then... All right, all right, y'all. Let me see. All right, let's see. All right. Y'all, I don't know. Now I need to print out um, the sublimation design. It just makes me nervous. Let me see. Open. Kind of close, y'all. You're only too close. Somebody told me, I don't know if it was Fabulosis or if it was Person, told me to listen for the machine, like listen to it. The machine will tell you when something's wrong. And now, like, I'll be hearing stuff. I don't know. Hold on, y'all. I'm opening up this, um, that Clifford file for the baby. Alright, I'm sorry, I can't see y'all right now because I'm in the in Finder. Alright, there it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Alright. Put this out. Let's see. Print settings. My print settings look good. Uh oh. What was that? Yo, this is too stressful. This is stressful. Nancy, well, I have no idea, but I want to do a project with y'all. But if we do a project, so a member's live, I'll probably just do something. I'll figure, like, um, I may do, like, some, I don't know yet. But I think we need a live. I, not a live. I think we need, like, a Zoom or Google Meet. And we can kind of, like, chill out and craft together. Do something together. That's something, because we haven't done a Google Meet in, like, what, like, two months? Ever like the last part of school was hectic. Like I couldn't even get time to do anything. I started counting my videos on YouTube. I'm like, you haven't even done anything. I do lives, but I haven't even been doing my regular videos. So I'm thinking, yeah. Oh, I gotta show you. I gotta. Sh I gotta show you what it looked like. It looks fine though, because remember, it's just the applique, it's just the the satin stitch around, really, and then the middle part is that part that I subbed onto. It looks fine, but there were like two places that bunched up, and it kept stopping. And so what I did was I fast forwarded the the stitch, and then I just kept kept going, like when it, it bunched up and caused the bird's nest, girl. I'm too stressed out. And then somebody wants me to make them some shirts with uh, the logos on it. Now, I'm good with doing that with Emma, with the um, brother. That's easy. This one, I don't know. Bunched up in the back. 
10. It's probably going to be next week. Y'all, I'll probably be going on doing members live lives a little more during the summer since so summer school ends at um 11 o'clock the kids go to lunch until 11 30 and then that's it for me i think i have to stay until 12 30 though i think i have to stay until 12 30 but that's still a good time i can come come do some work chill with y'all see what we all need to work on so it may be like any day, like it could be any day, really. Okay. I will. Thank you, Evie, because you know I don't know what I'm doing. Because that first one, I have a bent needle in the first um in the first needle. So I got to take it out. I've been dreading taking it out, but I just haven't been using it. I haven't been using that needle because, see, that doesn't sound good. Oh, it was done. Trim. Okay, now it's saying something like trim, not in position. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Oh, y'all. We are done with this, y'all. We are done. Let me check this out because I, I can't. I don't know what this means, but for the for the purpose of what we're doing, we are done. Okay, we are done. This is what we have. I will figure this out, or we will figure it out. Y'all will help me figure it out another day because we're gonna use this. Make sure it's not wrapped around the school pen or missing a tension disc. Let me see. That one, that one looks okay. Um, is it going in the right direction? Okay, go around. Okay, it's going in the right direction, but I don't know. Yeah, we gonna have we're gonna have an embroidery session really soon. <laughs> you please drive to Miami. It's okay, you can come. Please. Because girl, I'm gonna have to drive over there with you. That's what I'm going to have to do. Uh-oh. All right, y'all. So after I turn off this X tool, I'm going to turn on the, the heat press. Because guess what? We have a somewhat of an embroidery patch. And we're going to use it. Okay? Because it wants to be used. After all that stuff we went through, after what y'all had to help me out with, y'all know that this deserves to be used. So... That's what's gonna happen. Oh, I should have took out sweet tea for my. Oh, y'all! I got the new Cricut Mini Press. I can't wait to use it. Y'all know I love sweet tea. Oh, let me show you the back, y'all. So I can't. I don't know if you guys could tell because I can't really see the color that well. But this is what my back was looking like. Remember I told you where it like bunched up and I had that bird's nest there. Look at that. Oh, it's just ugly. It's ugly. So it bunched up. So remember where it kept saying like about the trim? Right at the end, that's where it started bunching up at. That was where it ended. And it kept saying something about the trim. But that's where it ended. Hmm. And then, but it came off sign. And then this one right here. So I don't know, but we're going to make this work. We're going to make this work for the baby. We are. We are, we are, we are. At least we'll be able to finish that tonight. They can get their shirts. And call it a day. I am just trimming some of this messed up. 
bunching from the back. Hopefully, I'll mess it up. Oh, Eve, I love what you did on those. That flamingo was so cute. And what was was that? Wasn't an ice cream one? Because I looked at your links. I just don't remember what that other one was. But those are so cute. Oh, something's wrong with the thread up top. I'm gonna have to read there. I'm gonna rethread it. I'm a, okay. So y'all on tomorrow. Well, on tomorrow, I Brody and I are gonna get up close and personal, and I am going to change the needle, and I'm going to switch up the threads. I have not changed the threads since I've had it. I've been using the same threads. So I'm going to switch some things up, try that out, see how, you know, get a little more comfortable. My anxiety is not going to get me, and I'm going to do it on live with y'all. So I know what time. It could be early. It could be late. I don't know. But I do. Oh, no. I got to see. I have a training tomorrow. That's why I have to go to work. It's not like a full work day. I do have a training, like a summer school training tomorrow. Y'all know they be making us train for everything. So I have a training tomorrow, and I also have a training. I have a training tomorrow, and also Thursday is a work day, but it's only like a half a day, so it's not anything major. It's all good. You can check the thread path. Yeah. I got to check it. But Eve, Eve are you going to come down? Come on down. Uh oh, let me see if it's done. But soon we'll be up there with you. In September, we are going to be in, we're going to be with Eve. Eve, what's the name of the, it's not ISA. What is the name? But we are all going to be going to, or some of us, hopefully you guys will be able to make it. And we'll get a chance to spend time with Eve. Um, She's going to be conducting a class, right, Eve? And then we'll get a chance to meet each other. Oh, yeah, you got to go to Fargo. Yeah. I'll see I'll see you soon then. I'll see you in in a few, what, in like a week and a half? No, not a week and a half, in like a month and a half. That's all good. I'll still get a chance to see you, but... Brody's still going to be a hot mess, though. So, y'all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this heat and bond on the back, and then I'm just going to cut around the heat and bond because I'm actually going to um, press this onto the, the onesie after we sub it. You're just speaking? Well, that's still going to be good. Graphics Pro Expo. That's what it's called. Graphics Pro Expo. Did you order the needle plate and bobbin case? No, I'm biased. I didn't. What are y'all doing tomorrow? Tell me what's a good time for me to come on live tomorrow so we can talk. We're going to talk all things embroidery tomorrow. Yeah, all things embroidery tomorrow. So let me know what's a good time for y'all so that I can. I just, I know in the morning I'm supposed to do a few things. I have one meeting in the morning. Then I have to go to work, to act to my work work. And then um, I have a training for a few hours. I'm supposed to record some content with Terrell tomorrow, but I doubt that's going to happen because I ain't got time for it. So I don't know. And this is not content for our podcast. We do a lot of other crazy things. So I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. So tell me what's a good time for y'all and we'll get on and we'll work on embroidery stuff. And I need to embroider me some shirts, too. And I have them. They've been here for months. I just haven't embroidered them yet. <laughs> so we'll do some embroidery tomorrow. Yes. Not with Emma. But with, uh-oh, looks like we may have stopped, y'all. Let me go and get um, a paper towel. They say that you should do it with, like, other types of um, stuff but I'm going to do it with a paper towel unless I could find my little um, packages. Hold on one second. 
y'all. Let me see if I can find those. I should have thought about that before, but I didn't. So sorry. And I'm going to move the camera. And we have our sublimation ready for the heat press. Uh-oh. I got so much going on tonight as usual. This up here, I'm gonna move this here. I'm gonna put my little sublimation thing right there. Uh -oh. And then let me see if I have some of my little pads to clean. And I can take these shades off and get back into the world of color. Hold on one second, y'all. So I was looking for my Mr. Clean pads, but I don't see them. Oh, it already looks nice, y'all. All right, let me add to this table. All right, don't pay attention to the junk. Somehow, it didn't seem like I was doing any work tonight, but somehow I actually was doing something tonight. Hold on, let's see. I'm a whole hot mess. I had these Mr. Clean pads in the same spot for the longest. And now I don't even know where they are. All right, so let's see how this turned out. Anytime after five, I'll be unavailable at seven tomorrow. I should be free after two. That's three my time. Well, y'all, y'all know I'll be on here for a while anyway. So whatever time you get on is perfectly fine. I'll probably come on after after my meeting. Not the first meeting, but after my training. All right, so this is a coated flask. And these are really popular, like for weddings and things like that. Um, a couple sometimes gives it as a gift, but this is what we have so far. And I'm just gonna clean off like the soot. Okay. It's coming off. That looks nice. Y'all, this looks so good. And so the coated metal, um, that's really well see All the soot that's coming off. Uh-oh, y'all, I'm sorry, I can't see. In September. Okay. Yeah, Eva, are we planning anything for that time? For everybody? Y'all, this looks so nice. Look at that. Thank you, Delante, Unbiased, and Mayor Bear. That looks so good. Wow. And so you could even, like, if you wanted to, like, engrave something here. On the back, the only problem with the back is that how it kind of, like, curves up. And so when the laser is moving, when you have to focus it, you don't want the laser to be scraping that because that will cause it to move. But if you, you know, have like a small little area, the laser can do like a small little engrave on the back or something that way. Thanks, y'all. It's on sale now. It's I think it's like $5.99 for the actual 
laser and i know i've been using the rotary 2 attachment but y'all the first rotary attachment works just good with it and it comes with the original d1 um diode laser the rotary attachment the second one you can do different things to it you can do different but that original rotary is is fine y'all i was happy with that one i was happy with it um you can do a little bit more but y'all Look how nice. I love this, y'all. See, we ended the night off. Well, we're, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. <laughs> no, like, girl, you're not done. We're done. You're not. But, oh, let me show y'all the, the, um, thing of my jig. Get together. Hopefully we'll go live. Thanks, Dems, Nicole, Miss Merlinda, and Evie, and Amita. All right, y'all. So this is, y'all, y'all remember Saturday night. I was a whole hot mess on Saturday. That was Saturday, right? So this is what we have, y'all. First of all, I think part of my problem, Eve, too, is I don't even know how to digitize, and I'm trying to digitize stuff. So I digitized this hot mess, number one, because I had a great idea of making this for this little baby. Um, I don't know if you got I put it in my community, the shirt for um, the shirt for the mom and dad, but... <laughs> I decided to put on the baby this applique. Well, it was supposed to be an applique, but it ended up being a patch because I couldn't get it together. Right, y'all remember it was a hot mess. So, y'all. All right, so I'm just going to no, no, no. So I'm gonna put this on first, right, and then I'm gonna cut it off. I'm gonna cut from around it. I don't know a better way because I barely knew that I needed to do this. I think Fabulosis or Kirsten told me to do this. So, I don't know. <laughs> Mary Warzak. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm biased. That's true. I'm a hot mess. <laughs> I need to get my life together. Y'all know I don't know, know better. I'm, I can't take this no more. I can't. I cannot take it anymore. Not. I tried, tried not to be that person, but I could not take that anymore. All right, so let me get, I'm going to press this really quick, and all I'm doing now is pressing the heat of bond to it. So we're going to press that really, really quickly. And, uh-oh, I didn't mean to put this on it. I'm going to move that. All right, so I'm going to give it a Nice little light press because it doesn't need to be at full. That's a stick. And this is the one onesie. This is a laughing giraffe, 100% uh, polyester onesie that we're gonna be subbing onto. Oh, I didn't need to press that for that long though. Oh, didn't tell me to stop. All right. All right, so it's still going. And so it's still heating up. The heat press is heating up. So we're just going to cut from around this. If there's a better way, y'all let me know. But y'all know I kind of like piece this together the best way I could. No, but I'm trying not to cut the, the thread, which it looks like I might have. Either I cut it or it was already kind of, oh my goodness. Y'all, the people are out. Where's 755? Where's 755 at to get her boot? I was so cutting. I have a lot of energy today, y'all. All right, let's see. 
Uh-oh. When I trim some of that fabric away, I didn't trim enough, looks like. Oh, thank you, Eve. You know how to make a girl feel good. Thank you. All right. So let's cut this one out. You know, that right there isn't, it's not as clean as I wanted to be, but this, um, this is where it messed up, those areas. But I'm glad that I didn't take it out and refuse to do it again. Because I was close, y'all. It was, that was almost what happened. I need some better scissors. These scissors are not good for this. You can't really get in good. But we're going to go with this. It's the energy tea. That's what it is. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thanks, fabulousness. Yep. <laughs> I love it in Delanda's voice. Yes. What am I going to say? <laughs> That's what Delonji started making. And y'all know, what am I going to say? Delonji, you going live this week? All right. I'm not going to overdo it. The baby's probably just going to wear this one time. So I'm not going to really stress myself out over the little things. Well, at least I won't, I'm not going to stress myself out with, over the little things with y'all here. But. So now I can peel that backing off. And so we can press this right onto our shirt. Y'all, we actually did it. We finally got this done. We have been trying to get this done since whew, forever, which was Saturday. Burn the edges to seal it. Uh-oh. <laughs> I do have a check. I do. Where is it? I do. Hey, Patricia. I do. No worries, Eve. So if I do this, do I not have to burn it? Thanks, Mary Borzak. Mary, you don't know what I'm doing. And I'll just put it here. Oh, you guys are so sweet. What would I do? Without y'all. Be a whole hot mess out here. Thanks, Roslyn. Uh oh. Let's see if this is dried out. I haven't used it. Okay, there it goes. Okay. So that's just right there. I think right here too. But that should be it. There's no more really exposed. It was just like right there exposed. See right there? But the rest should be fine. Yeah. Y'all, I'm so excited. Uh-oh. Patricia. Oh, it's something right here, too. I didn't see this. Right there. And you know that's from when I where it bunched up and I stopped it and then I went back and I just kept going like I I did I was like this is not gonna happen to me again and it kept happening but thanks for sticking with me y'all we undid we we are all off track Delanda I need I need you to keep me on track Delanda be on point Delanda have her agenda she has her objective. And you have to say the objective. And when that objective is met, we class is done. Let me get my life right. I be putting out a whole we started with subbing tumblers for Father's Day. Now we did a class. Yo, I love this class. Y'all, this looks so good. It looks so good. Now I'm gonna have to do one inside a bell and maybe compare the time. Um the Glowforge may do it a little quicker possibly 
but as far as the pricing for this machine and like this this is good this is nice it's just the regular stainless steel like it has to be coated it has to have something on it for it to look like that but i did do that stainless steel how did that one came out fine that stainless steel tumbler i did that one wasn't coated nearly so cute all right y'all it's almost our heat press is almost ready so we're gonna go ahead and we are going to cut this out i'm gonna show you guys the dtf shirts that i did for the parents it's the same shirt or the same design but this time we're just going to be doing this for a little baby I'm going to cut these edges because I've been using a lot of black. Um, like two of the cups I made were like almost full black images. So that sometimes can cause some of that ink to be heightened on your edges. Especially when you print like all over designs like that, that can really cause your ink to be hiding. So that's all good like a little clip right thanks y'all all right so i'm gonna go ahead and get this onesie and then we are going to hold on y'all let me i'm just gonna do it over here y'all because i was gonna bring it over there but i'm gonna go ahead and put the onesie here And I'll show y'all because I have to let it cool down. All right, so pre press it. Getting some of that other stuff out of here. Let roll it. Of course, you want to let roll your stuff all the time. And then I am going to press it for a few seconds. And that lets me know that my pressure is too much. going to press this design onto our onesie. Good. Now I think I should have did. So the onesie that I got is an 18 to 24 month um, onesie. I'm thinking I should have got like a did the design a little bit bigger. But we're going with it like this. I'll let you guys see it. I'm just putting a little tape on here. And then I am going to uh, I'm gonna get another piece of butcher paper. Okay, another piece, nothing. So if you weren't here the other night, this is the DTF print for the mom and the dad that we did. So this is the DTF um, print that we did the other night together. These are both of the shirts. Finally got Ghost to work right, but they came out so nice. I love how it came out. 
I do like wish I would have put something in the background, but it's fine. Uh oh. Let's see. Let's see. That's a lot of pressure. All right, y'all. What do I do with that one? I swear, y'all know I'm gonna lose it. Do Do you guys remember what I did with that little one? Please tell me y'all remember. Oh, oh, I need to get my mic right. All right, y'all. So here we have. Thanks, Jesse. So here we have the image on this laughing giraffe. I didn't put anything on the inside. Okay, it's good. I didn't even think about it. So it's all good. Nothing. Oh, whew, nothing came through. Thank the Lord. Okay, so the laughing giraffe, 100% polyester um, onesies. They're very, very soft. They don't have the polyester feel to it. So I actually really, really like these. All right, so now we're just going to put the one right here. What do you guys think? Do you guys think I should go ahead and and do it? Or should, like, how do you guys think it looks? Y'all know I've got multiple of these onesies, though. I don't like how this heat tape did this. Oh, let me turn down the, the because I should have just got, um, what you call it? out my sweet tea. It's not going to take long to press that on there. All right. So it's going down. Um, what do you guys think? Let's, because the size is kind of similar to uh oh, I can't even see that good. That's... Looks okay. Thank you. That's what. So I didn't want to put it too too far down because I know that they're gonna have you know things Patricia that he's gonna have on like some shorts and things like that. So I didn't want to have it too you know too big to where it's covering anything. I have to press that down again y'all tell 755 to come get her boo I can't thank you guys I'm just happy that we actually got it finished and done because there's a little piece right here of the I see the stabilizer I know it's gonna get down in my skin try not to cut the the thread all right Okay, so we're almost, we're actually almost done. Actually, almost done. So originally, for those of you who don't know, originally on Saturday I was trying to do all of this on one like sub it, and then I don't even know where that piece is at, and then embroider directly onto the the onesie. Um, but I started having so many problems with it so one of y'all suggested this and i appreciate y'all for that i'm just waiting on the heat press to cool down and then i'm gonna press this i could have just took out the mini press but i didn't i did not i have a lot of energy y'all <laughs> I don't know how or why or where it came from, but I have a lot. There's so many things I could I could be doing. Thanks, ladies. I appreciate y'all so much for sticking it out with me and staying on longer on this Tuesday than we usually stay on, on Tuesdays. Oh, this is what happens when you don't really have to be to work the next day. I intended on 
all of the summer to be like this, but it's all good. It's for a good cause. It's for a good cause. All right, let me see what it looks like. Okay, it's still, still high. The temperature is not dropping that fast. Oh. Yay! Eve, and you know that makes me happy, girl. That makes me happy. And we need our diamond painting date. Are we supposed to be doing diamond painting in July? What are we, what's, what are, no, you have something for us to do. Like, because I can't pick anything else again. Like, I'm, on, I'm putting myself on punishment for picking anything. Thanks, Theodore. I'm putting myself on punishment for picking anything because, yeah. No. So, what we got, what do we have going on? I know we got to do some diamond painting. We can do diamond painting any day, though. Yo, I still have to finish my diamond painting. That's what I could, could do tonight to try to help myself wind down a bit. Oh, <gasps> the mug rug. How did I forget that, Eve? Yes. Y'all know I have been waiting to do a mug rug. So when I got the brother, what is that? The SE 600, it's a four by four. I thought you could do mug rugs with that, but you can't, you can't do a mug rug with that. So when I got the Racoma, I'm like, yes, I can now do mug rugs. So we'll do that next. So in July, y'all, we're gonna do mug rugs. Oh yeah, we got, I'm gonna I'm gonna work on little Brody tomorrow Eve. I promise. <sighs> We're gonna work on him. Get him up and running. Cause I don't know what he got going on. Well, maybe I could do both. Maybe I could run both of them. Maybe I could do Rakoma, and then maybe with the four by four, I could do a coaster for people. Like maybe we could have that option, like for coasters for anybody who has. A uh, uh, embroidery machine that only does four by four. We could maybe see it like a coaster, and then with a the Rakoma, well, not Rakoma, with the larger hoop sizes, because you don't have to have a multi needle machine to do the mug rugs. You just need a certain size hoop. So maybe we could do that. Oh, I thought y'all talking to the shirt too. But I'm gonna press this and then I want y'all to see like the final. Y'all, I'm pretty happy with this. Oh my goodness. I can't with I can't with this. This is what happens when you stay on too late. When you should be in bed. This is what happens. You get spammed. Ay ay ay. Ay 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 ay. Okay, I think one of y'all might have gotten before me. What's my machine? I never used it. Anita, you got to use it. So, Anita, so I don't know even know what date that is, but the first Friday in July, which is about, well, like two weeks away, Eve and I are going to be doing, no worries, Mirror Bear, Eve and I will be doing mug rugs. Uh, we're going to be doing mug rugs and we're going to be doing um, mug rugs and or coasters, depending on the size um, hoop you have that you could use with your machines. So that would be a perfect night for you to pull it out and get your stitch on with us. You can do quite a few projects. Check out Little Bee's, what is it called? Little Bee Design. So I, I, I've i gotten several cute projects from her. So before I had this other embroidery machine and I just had the brother, I was able to make like coin pouches and different things like that. Like you can make some nice things with the four by four hoop. You can. Hey, MC from KC. Thank you, MC from KC. I'm gonna have to... Go and fix me some of that tea you sent me to help me go to sleep tonight because I am, y'all, I am up. Like, up, up, up. And I need to try to get some sleep tonight. Uh, 
Anita, girl, listen, what are you doing tomorrow? Tomorrow we're going to be working with embroidery machines. I may even bring Emma out and maybe show some things that we could do with a 4 by 4 hoop. That's what I'm going to do. We're going to do, so tomorrow, I don't know what time we're going to get on, but I'll probably put like a reminder out in the community and then we'll work on some four by four projects with the single needle machine because you can get quite a few things done. Y'all, that single needle machine, I didn't even know how to use the machine. And within two months, I had already paid that machine off. Well, it was already paid off, but I had like made my money back from that machine. And I didn't even know what I was doing. And it still got done. Like that's how easy it was to to use it. That's how easy it was to get started. So don't be scared of your machines. Don't be intimidated by it. I talk a lot of trash about my machines when they act up, but y'all, I love, I love it because when things happen, this is how you learn it. This is how you learn your machines, how to troubleshoot them. And luckily for me, I get to do it in front of y'all. And so when something messes up, I'm not by myself y'all help me so it's easy to get on here especially when everybody's like so nice and welcoming and helpful it's easy to get on here and not you know always know what you're doing and know that people aren't going to judge you that they're going to help you so definitely come on with us because i'm sure you'll get the help you need Yes. Is that is that the first? Oh, Eve, is that Friday the first? Is is it Friday the first? Is it? So July first, I did not realize that that was a Friday. Is that a Friday? Because July first is Craftable Things birthday. And so it's gonna be Craftable Things second birthday. And so I didn't even pay attention to whether or not that was a Friday or not. How perfect. I hope it is a Friday. Y'all tell me. I can't take the phone off and look at the date. Eve, I am the conductor of the Hot Mess Express. <laughs> oh, hot mess. Hot mess. I love it. I love it. The thing is, y'all, like, hot, when, when you say that you're hot mess, it's not like you're saying that you're just... Y'all, we are all over the place. Like, I'm all always all over the place. And it's not like I'm saying it in a bad light, like, on myself. Like, I just know it. I just know. And it's all good. All right, y'all. We're still waiting. It's down to, like, 318. I can go and press this now for a few seconds. And then y'all could be rid of me. Oh, so we're going to eat. We are having a major celebration on July 1st. It's going to be a party. We're going to have fun on July 1st. I cannot wait. And how blessed am I to be able to share that day with you on our scheduled live together. All right, y'all. Let me go and press this real quick. And then... That's going to be it. I do need to print out an image on my DTF printer, though. I do. Let's see. All right. I'm going to cut this. Nope. Oh, Some of it doesn't. Matter. That was what. Glad I looked at it. Be right back. All right, y'all. We're almost done. 
Alright, so we're all done. Uh-oh, my battery's about to die. Uh-oh, where is the charger? I took it out. For the heat press. Alright, y'all. So we're all set. Look! Uh-oh. Alright, let me hold it over. Uh-oh. You know what supplies to get to use. My brother, SC. Nineteen machine. Time about the starter kit. Is there a video that you could recommend? So the SE1900, I know you're going to need like some embroidery thread, um, stabilizer. Depending on what it is that you want to get started doing, Nicole, um, stabilizer. See, I think I bought everything. I don't even, I have so much stuff here for embroidery. Um, and that's a sewing machine too, right? So you can sew on that one, but definitely start with getting you some embroidery threads um, and stabilizer and any fabric that you want may want to use. Like like this particular fabric, yo, I just subbed onto this fabric like this. It's just polyester. Oh, I need to press it some more. It didn't. That's not a good press. Hold on, y'all. Let me press it. Again. Glad I didn't turn it off. It needs a little more heat. I did not do enough heat, y'all. Right, let me put some Hold on. And let me. That's not good. All right. I actually put it down to like 200. I need help, y'all. Thanks, Eastu. So that's what the SC, that's what my, I have an SC600, and you can sew it and um, sew and embroider on it. And I love it. I love that I could do that with it. I'll probably never get rid of it unless I were to upgrade to another, like, sewing embroidery machine. Because if you, you know, you can do quite a few things with it. Like, get you some stabilizer, tearaway stabilizer, um, regular stabilizer. What is the regular stabilizer called, y'all? Um, what is it called? You have tear away and then you have something else. There's several types of stabilizer depending depending on what it is that you're going to be doing. Um, Eve actually showed some threads. Check out Eve's channel because she always shows like different threads. And you know she's like the embroidery queen. So check her out. Um, she has a lot of information of what you need. Marissa. Oh, cutaway. Mary, what is that? Thank you, boo. It's a cutaway stabilizer. So you need tear away and cutaway. Um, you probably need some water soluble stabilizer too. Eve, we need water soluble stabilizer. Yep. Mary said it already. We need water soluble stabilizer. The SC, the brother SC 600. Yes, Anita, see? You can tell, I'm going to pull it out and we'll be doing that one. Well, I'll pull it out and we'll just work with it. I'm going to be working on Brody, but we'll do some um, in the hoop projects with it. And you can do, you can do patches with that one. You can do um, like polo shirts, like logos and things. You can do quite a, quite a few things with that. Oh, you need tender touch. Nicole, Nicole, I'm still thinking of things that you may need. You need tender touch. Hey, Lisa. Um, it's quite a few. Okay, so oh, Eve has it there. Tear away, cut away, and wash away. Scissors with tiny tips. Yep, these little tiny and the curved ones too. Like you need these little things right here. Um, what else? So when I when I first started, I got like all the, the bobbin to match the, the threads. It was already wound, but you could do that with your machine. It's so easy to, to do that. You don't really need that. 
I'm trying to think what else I got. Mm, I was just Abby K scissors. Yep, Abby K scissors. Um, a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Dempsey, my birthday is in August. I'm an August baby. August. I'm everyone looking crazy. Soon. <laughs> Candace. <laughs> Candace. I'm an August baby, Dempsey. Um, my birthday is the 13th of August. It's all good. All right, y'all. Let me press this one more time, and then we are out of here. I'm biased. Good night. Thanks for hanging with me. Hopefully, we'll see you tomorrow. Y'all know I'm gonna be in distress, so all the sewing queens come out and help me. And if there's any sewing kings, embroidery kings, queens, everybody just come out and help me. Okay, because y'all know I'm not going to know what I'm doing. Something's going to be a hot mess. All right, let me press this in. That was a lot. That was pretty heavy. I should have did it for a little bit longer. Look what we have. Good night, Jesse. I'm about to say good night to y'all. But everything's looking gorgeous. Thanks for hanging with me, y'all. We did quite a few things tonight and we finished something that I really, really needed to finish today. So I appreciate y'all for sticking around with me. Hey, Chris. I don't know yet. Something. Well, I'm really going to be trying to work on this um, this embroidery machine, the Wacoma. And, like, I got to change the needle out. I need to kind of re-thread some things just to make sure everything's still legit. And um, I'm going to be working with the brother, S.E. Oh, my hand was all in y'all way. I'm sorry. I'm going to be working <laughs> on the brother, S.E., 600, um, like doing some embroidery on there. Okay, nature. Thanks, y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate y'all for hanging out with me tonight. It was a hot mess at first, but we ended on a good note. So I appreciate that. The two projects that weren't a part of the plan for tonight those actually were the best. <laughs> our flask, <laughs> pretty good. And then our onesie. So, but, and that tumbler that we did at the end, that actually came out good, even though there was that bunching at the top. It still, and at the bottom, it still came out pretty decent. Like, such a... Legit, legit, legit. Oh, Miss McQuacken likes this flask. Nice to know. Gotta make him one. This might be water. You never know. People put water in all types of things. But believe, I, I just don't hide water. I don't even drink water. I need to. I have been doing a little bit better. Danny, if you if you're here and you catch the replay, I've been doing a lot better with the water intake, Danny. Okay. Good night, Theodore. Y'all, it's been fun. Thank you for hanging out with me for this extended amount of time and testing this stuff out using this heat press. This little mini heat press is pretty good for me as far as like subbing with like these mugs. The mugs turned out amazingly where's that other mug that y'all oh i'll show y'all this last mug now i want to engrave more flask 
but these mugs turned out really, really nice. So I'm happy with the mugs. The tumblers, not so much. Y'all will see a video tomorrow with the tumblers. And I got to figure out, is it me? Is it me? That can't get it right. It's possible. But I won't be defeated. So <laughs> I'm already trying to figure out how I am going to work this out. I may bake. Since this one is kind of lighter, I may bake one of these off and play around with it a little bit more to see. Because I don't know. But that's it, y'all. It has been fun. Anita, the X tool is so nice. It really is nice. And for the price, like it really is. It's 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 nice and you can actually take it apart and pack it away somewhere. Unlike Belle, Belle has to stay, you know, Belle has her own little home right there in the corner. Can't go too too <laughs> too far. So yeah. Good night, sweet Rose Hustle and Creations vlog. Thank you for being here. <laughs> I love my mods. I love them, love them, love them. All right, y'all, let me go find something else to do. But since I'm going to be on with y'all again tomorrow, I won't keep y'all on any longer. Not that it's not after 11 o'clock already, but thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate y'all, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. I love y'all. Thank you for keeping me motivated to keep going tonight. Until tomorrow, y'all. <laughs>